Get ready. It's time for Zero Page Homebrew, uh, Wednesday edition. I was just caught off guard. It was like, oh, it's 11 seconds to go. And I have to click some buttons and uh, get us ready. But I think we're uh, up and running. Yep. Everything's good. Um, so welcome to uh, Zero Page, where we play new games on classic consoles. And we have four games tonight to play. That's um, good. Some more obscure ones. What is going on with my tablet? Oh, um, no. There we go. Some more obscure games that I think uh, didn't get a lot of attention when they came some, out. Um, we got some, some cats who want to hang out with yeah, us, too. Yeah, here's Atari. I'm James, and that's Erilyn. Oh, Wade Rain, hello. Hey, Wade Rain. And also Ground Trooper, Atari Spot. Um, and Ground Trooper just subscribed to a Twitch Prime today. Thank you very much. Um, and Gretums also have as Gretums well. As well. People are just filing in. Uh, let me get to my notes. I'm lost. But we're going to play um, four games. One of them is going to be um, a actual boxed game. Oh, cool. Yeah. I mean, yeah, normally you kind of throw them on this like little SD card. I don't know how <laughs> that right. works. It's magical. Throw it's them like... in the Harmony cart. And um, so usually they're... we play a lot of games that are in development. Um, because there's so many. Yeah. But once in a while, we'll play a game that I've purchased on cartridge. Um, some of them are in boxes, some of them aren't. But today we're going to be playing one of them. Because um, uh, I haven't played one in a while that I've purchased. But So we have to, you know, make our way through those. I think there's maybe 10, 10 games that I haven't played yet wow. that are on cartridge still. And um, after Portland Retro Gaming Expo, then it's going to be another stack again. When's the, the when's that happening? Everyone keeps mentioning it in chat. Um, um, two weeks. Two weeks. Cool. So um, I'll be here next Wednesday, but maybe it's a week and a half. Uh, cool. But it's next, not this Friday, but next Friday. Yeah, I think yeah. it is. Like the nineteenth. And what I'm going to be doing is trying to broadcast from there. Really? Yeah. I'm are you and Tanya? Yeah. So okay, I, that'll I, be so cool. we're gonna. S what what my plan is? Um, it's that's this Saturday. Um, is to go to the Atari Age booth and film playing the demos there of some of the new games that are coming out. We played some of them on the show, but um, yeah, just taking a look around and see if there's anything that would be interesting for the stream and the watchers of this, for people who can't make it to the uh, expo and they can see what's going on there. That was, will, will be me. Yeah, so you can I'll tune, have to in. tune in and check it out. I'll <laughs> yeah. probably see it on YouTube because that's where I tend to watch. Watch it after. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, it's always hard to find the time to do it. Like, Yeah, it doesn't sync up streaming. sometimes. You never know, though. I mean, yeah, it might maybe actually Saturday. Work. I don't know what time, though, because I don't know, you know, timings and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. And I'll probably do the interviews with the homebrew developers on the Sunday after everything winds down a bit. Who are you doing interviews with? Uh, it's going to be with, uh, you put me on the spot. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Al, Al from Atari Age. Um, it's with, um, yeah, Dan Kitchen, um, who's an old school developer. Yeah. 2600 games. It is with, um, John Champeau from Champ Games, who's making Mappy, who's going to be there. Oh, wow. Demo, demoing Mappy. And, um... One other person. But I sorry, don't have, I, I don't have those I, notes, man. I'm sorry. And I'm terrible with I names. Feel, so you, three out of four is not bad for me. nailed it. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like that was like a prepared thing. It wasn't. It was, it was not. <laughs> it's off script. The man. truth is, is I know nothing. So I show up here with my coffee and I'm just like, hey, what are we doing? I don't even know. Like, where where are we right now? <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> um, so the games today. Uh, is going to be called uh, Danny, which was uh, okay, put out cool. in 2017. No Touchy, um, 2017 no as well, touchy. both by The Max. No Touchy. Um, the next one, Escape It, 2011 by Acoustic Guitar. Uh, and the last one, which is out of the box, The Gizzle Wap and the Strange Red Tree. The Gizzle Wap. That's <laughs> a great name, man. That's we, a good one. It's actually the first uh, game in two, and we played the sequel to it. Uh, many months ago. Was I on, on camera? Or no, was it? no, no, no. Yeah, indeed. Greta very interesting, interesting names. Some very sure. obscure games tonight. I think a cat went into Yeah, one. which one was the one that you said was uh, was on cartridge? That you uh, the last one. The That's last the Gizzle cool. Wap. The Gizzle Wap is on cartridge. Of course it is. <laughs> we played the sequel, and it was, it was bizarre. It was bizarre. And this well, one looks bizarre, too. And it's like very... 
I get, it's hard to understand what's going on, oh, but there's the some name, rhyme like, or reason. Gizzle Wap, you gotta. And the strange red tree. Yeah. If it was just like, oh, you jump on a platform, and I'd be very disappointed with no, the Gizzle Wap. It's not jump on a platform. It's strange. It's very strange, like the title says. Um, I want to thank the uh, Twitch subscribers um, who keep on subscribing and helping yeah. out the channel. It said, uh, even it, I just saw on here, it says Ground Trooper just subscribed. Yeah. So his uh, must have ran out and he's resubscribed again. He truly is a Ground Trooper. <laughs> Sorry. That's great. I had to go it's terrible. for it. I had to do it. <laughs> so the uh, subscribers are Atari Spot, A Tasty Sandwich, Charles and Chuck Gredums, who's also here. Gredums, uh, yeah. Ground Trooper just resubscribed. I supposed to Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, uh, Retro Happy Hour, All and the Tiki classics. Tiki Dan K Dan Kitchen, Dan the Kitchen. person I'm going to interview. He subscribes and watches the channel. Gizzlewap programmer, uh, very uh, creative, made for his daughter to wonder at. Uh, oh. Hi, I supposed to welcome. It's like Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's, he's creating... Uh, but I've, I've heard of that kind of thing where there's like a little kid and that's the inspiration. Like they come up with the story. Yeah. Or a description of a creature and there's like an artist who draws it or somebody makes a game out of the idea. I think that's really cool. And then the kid gets something that's like, I did this. I yeah. came out of my imagination. I've always wanted to make a movie where I record my little sister just monologuing for like 20 <laughs> minutes and cut that into a script and then like put images uh, yeah. over. Just, you know, a similar idea because kids yeah. have these beautiful imaginations where oh, they just yeah. go off and like, and they say things like they're facts that are just not oh, even. Yeah. More, it's very much like a dream almost. The things they say, they're non sequiturs. Yeah. Things don't join up. Or have any rhyme or reason to them? It's just like okay, like, wow. <laughs> and then there's a princess. <laughs> this is great. It's like some are beautiful, some are terrifying. It, they can and, go off track, yeah. and it's and it's within the same sentence. So uh, on to the news. Um, so I think I've been talking about this Uno card for the past couple of weeks, and I was talking with the guy who whose game I bought this for, so I yeah. can demo his game. And he said, I, he's given me permission to reveal the name of the game and his name now um, because uh, eh, it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> um, but because he's never typed, he is in the Atari Age forums, but uh, he's never talked about this game or posted anything about this game. Oh, wow. Uh, his name's Zach, and um, the name of the game is Gorilla Force. Like Gorilla Force. G O R I L L A, not Gorilla. It's gorilla, gorilla, like yeah. the actual animal. Um, and I would describe the game as Contra-like. Yeah. If you've ever played Contra for the NES. When I was when I was a kid, whenever someone said Gorilla Warfare, <laughs> yes. I, I assumed that it was gorillas, gorillas fighting humans. I never realized that, that would this be terrifying. Was, it was like when they're like in Vietnam, like Gorilla Warfare. I was like, <laughs> like whoa, I was like, these crazy. guys are dealing with some gorillas in Vietnam. Is there footage of that. Uh, Years later, much sadder reality. It's not gorillas. It's not, <laughs> not real gorillas. Um, Sorry, it's sidetrack. I oh, just had to everything's a sidetrack. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think it said last week that this does not work on my RGB mm -hmm. um, Atari Twenty Six Hundred. So he's currently working on a firmware so that it does work. Um, Amazing. I mean, it is working on uh, unmodified systems like the yeah. Atari Twenty Six Hundred Junior or any unmodified system, but there's something about the video hardware processing that is not playing nice with the uno card I, I know this i guess this is on topic but i'm always yeah. curious what uh, have you modified on yours um that has that's made it what, what do Different. you mod yeah I'm just, <laughs> i've never asked that i'm curious oh because this was put out in 1977 yeah right so it had to work with the televisions that were around in 1977 um there was no composite input it was all rf which is um the signal that came from antennas um wow. and the the signal was it was a mix of audio and video together on the one one cord um it's the round cable that you would get from cable television or satellite yeah that goes into your cable box or into your internet it just screws oh, on, yeah, I you know, know that, that one? one? Yeah, definitely. And it's just got a, a wire in the center. Um, yeah, yeah. So back then, the the signal was audio and video on the same, An same it's electronic, wavelength. right? Same it's, chunk. 
it's not digital. I mean, obviously no, not. It's electronic. Not till it's HDMI. Running. It yeah. was digital. Um, and then it's progressed from there. Um, but so that only outputted RF. And it was noisy and terrible because there's like this crossover between audio and video. It wasn't a distinct, yeah. you know, bandwidth because they wanted to save bandwidth. So there's a little bit of crossover. And it manifested in kind of poor audio and kind of poor video sometimes, just not very crisp. Um, so what I've modded on this one from the RF, somebody's made a board that you put in and it goes in between the um, computer chip in here and the video output and kind of steals the video and outputs it in RGB, which is the highest analog output. Yeah, yeah. Where everything is distinct. It, it um, separates the red, the green, and the blue into distinct um, video signals so that it's very, very clean and also separates the audio out as well, which I, can be accepted into my Frame Meister, which upscales it to 720p, which takes it over to my yeah, recording, guess... which upscales it again to 1080p and puts our video and all that. So it yeah. it is like the best quality output, analog output. Like there's there's possible digital and I'm I bet, curious I mean yeah. people in chat might be able to answer but is that an unusual thing to do for homebrew type stuff are you guys playing on like when you play on Atari are you playing on the computer do you guys typically like play on like an actual Atari yeah. that's been modded or an original Atari yeah. like, I wonder um, like how people do it like is there is there common is there one way to do it or is there like multiple ways people approach it well I think there's a little bit of uh, what is that called when two people are thinking the same thing at the same time, you know, inventions come yeah. out at the same time. Um, because I have uh, a poll question tonight. The yeah. First ever really? poll question. And that's the question. Is, are, you, are you kidding I'm me? I'm not even kidding. Because I'm just, <laughs> I'm just going to turn it on and I'll have everything typed in. Okay. Not even kidding. Okay, let's do it. And, that, and that's it. not even, like, you prompted that question. Yes. <laughs> um, the... But... It actually leads in from another story that I'm going to talk okay, about. Okay, do it. Uh, that's, that's, that's crazy. Synchronicity? Yeah. Something like that? I think it's another word. Well, I'm just trying to learn things. <laughs> that's all I was trying that's to crazy. Do. But I'll, I'll put up the poll in a second. Yes, poll. Not Yay, nay, yay, nay. Um, yeah, I'll put that up in a second. Um, but f I think it's very uncommon. Yeah, okay. To, to mod it to this extent, there's a lot of composite mods, which are a lot easier to do because I think you can get it without a lot of wiring it's straight from the board yeah um but doing an R rgb it's a little bit expensive it was about a hundred dollars because i had to import it from australia the guy who makes it's in australia yeah and it is not easy i wouldn't say it's at expert level i'd say it's it's advanced level for installing it and doing the wiring and stuff yeah, i had my you... friend do it yeah. with me and i filmed it I did like one thing. Maybe. Is that on the, your YouTube channel? That we it will be. I haven't okay, edited cool. it yet. Um, Sorry, I'm so Ground Trooper has an S video modded 7800. And that's another, that's just the step below RGB. Oh, output cool. Is the S video. Um, and, and RGB is equivalent to a uh, component as well. Yeah. Just different ways of outputting it. Um, probably not thinking synchronicity, but that might be close. Yeah, it's, it's not that. It's, uh, uh, I can't remember. Oh, it'll come to me. And then I suppose it says um, uh, Uno and Harmony are arm emulating what a real cart would appear like. So there, yeah, there's um, a little processor in here that does a lot of computation while that is doing, like it does way faster than that. Yeah. And it's able to do a lot of calculations and prep just about everything for the video and audio. That is pretty much its job to, okay. to do all that. Um a game that will only run on one or other is using the computer power part cart to run the game logic. So yeah, the game logic is offloaded onto the super fast processor yeah. in here. Um, and then it just goes, put this on the screen, put this on the screen, put this out in audio. And that's just about all that does with one of these. Yeah. And, Some um, people do different balances. And the 7800, that's a different model. That is two after this model. Oh, okay. Yeah, so like the Xbox and the Xbox 360 16. and then the Xbox One. One. So the Xbox would be the 2600, the Xbox One would be the 7800, and there was a 5200 in between. Oh, that. that makes sense. The 7800 is actually backwards compatible. To really? The 2600, so you can play both. That makes sense. Why yeah. do you not have a 7800 instead? Is it... 
uh, that uh, it's just having that the old one yeah. the wood grain you know i mean this feels it's, like it's the just, dashboard of like a car you exactly know? Like, from the 70s it's just something about it having those six switches manual switches yeah. on it it's just something really cool um okay so i recently backed a kickstarter um have you ever done that before um, you, know, you know what Kickstarter? Yeah, is. yeah. Well, you you mean like back as in you like you gave it. money, you expect something. Oh yeah, I've done that. Yeah, did you get it? The thing? No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it was a friend was making a movie, and oh. like I sent it to him, and he finished the movie, but he never sent me anything. Bastards. Uh, which is like, I won't say who it is. No, 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 no. <laughs> but it was... no need, no need. Um, but I I recently back to Kickstarter's video game related um, by Collector Vision, and what they're doing related to all this is they're making an FPGA uh, ColecoVision. Now, you probably don't know what FPGA is. No, but okay. I've heard of ColecoVision. <laughs> yeah, From all good. these, like, rant. I watched videos of people doing, like, yeah. reviews of nostalgic games, and that pops up. It was kind of the competitor a couple of years after to the 2600, along with the Intellivision. Those were the big three that were all competing at the same time. Um... But what they're doing is kind of taking the hardware out of the console and putting that onto a chip, emulating the hardware. What a lot of emulators do is emulate the software. But this, the FPGA, emulates the hardware of the computer. So if there's like, um, say, a logic gate, an AND gate, it would emulate that AND gate. Yeah. Like right in the chip itself. It wouldn't go... Oh, if then, it wouldn't be like a software thing. It would be like, no, it's emulating the actual hardware of it. So it's a perfect emulation of it. So if there's bugs, it's going to be bugs in this. That's cool. That's and, very And people cool. use bugs. Oh, Atari has shown up. Cat yeah, named Atari. Thank you. Um, so oh. what they're doing is they're putting out an FPGA version of the ColecoVision with HDMI out. So it's like absolutely perfect. Yeah, I mean, that's the... It's like the dream, right? Um and they so it's compatible with all the ColecoVision games. It's 100% accurate because it's hardware based. Um has HDMI output, which is the big seller because then you can play these games on modern televisions. Yeah, cuz it's also mm. like, you know, it's nice to be able to plug it into anything. Yeah, easily plug it in. Um even like computer monitors. Yeah, anything. Yeah. Anything with HDMI. You know, all these have HDMIs. Um, it has a bunch of built-in stuff, super game module, which is like an add-on, a modern add-on to do fancy things with it. Comes with a bunch of built-in games. Anyway, I backed it. Um, it was like $300 Canadian, the one I backed. Yeah. And it comes with a, a game as well. And like, you didn't get your Kickstarter reward, and that's kind of the, ooh, people are a little standoffish of a lot of Kickstarters. Yeah. But I went in on this one because they have made a lot of hardware previous. Yes, yeah, so like really they have like... a proven track record. They put out homebrew games for the for the Coleco, so I I think I have enough trust in them that they will definitely follow through. And they have a prototype; it's like a working prototype. I'll have to check if they're at uh, Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Hopefully, they are. That would yeah. be amazing. That'd be really can, cool. I can all the demo worlds it. can combine. You can yeah. film the demo of the. Maybe I'm <laughs> concentrating on twenty six hundred. I don't want to open up yeah, to that world like, just at yet. At a but... certain point. But anyway, that's really um, interesting and exciting so that it's an easy way to modernize because some of these systems are breaking down, right? Yeah. Um, it also got, has an SD card slot, so you can put in the games just like that and play them without having to have the cartridges. So you can play the homebrew really easily. Ah, so the, uh, Ground Troopers saw the working prototype uh, at Game On two months ago. So if, then, they're, if they're there, they'll have it, right? And Ground Trooper also said, I still have my childhood light sixer unmodded. What's that? Do you know what that so is? So that is a light sixer. Oh, cool. And the names come from the number of switches. So you can see this has six switches on it. Um, and then light comes from the different, um, you know, revisions of it. Yeah. The first one was a heavy sixer. It was a lot... Heavier had a lot of more shielding in it. Oh, that makes right? sense. Right, so it doesn't interfere with other things in the house. Um, that's like the sought after one. Then there was a heavy sixer that was made in Taiwan and one that was made in Sunnyvale, California. And the most sought after one, Sunnyvale, California, because yeah. that was like the even, original even the original. Title, uh, Sunnyvale. <laughs> Who doesn't want to go to Sunnyvale? Oh, yeah. 
Uh -huh. uh, and there's like a petition to change the sign on Sunnyvale to have an Atari symbol on it. Oh, they have to. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm team that. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. Um, so that leads me to the poll question. How do people like playing their Atari games? <laughs> like, there's like, do they play it on real hardware? I know, it's so coincidental. It's so funny. Right? So I'm going to put that on right now. Let me just load it up. Make sure yeah. it's still working. What you have to understand is we wouldn't have planned that. That would have been a stupid thing to plan. <laughs> See, there it is. Did I type that in? No. no. Uh, um, yeah, that would be really would be weird. really dumb for to me like, to bring that oh, up. Oh, what a coincidence. <laughs> That's like, so ugh, weird. That'd be so terrible. I was just legit interested. And, and, and now I, I like for sure get to learn about this. It's very cool. So, got the overlay on there yeah, so they can see how the voting's how going so uh we i've never Atari used this here. yeah perfect. you can vote too so to vote you can type in one two three four five six i think you can use commas as well so i supposed to goes for original vcs hardware um so it would be this but no mods it would okay, just cool. still be it would be just rf you can vote for more than one as well if you yeah. use multiple things. And I guess if people are watching this on YouTube, like throw it in the comment section. Yeah, yeah. Because That's exactly awesome right. it would be awesome to sort of see that too. Afterwards. Because a lot of people watch this afterwards. Yeah. That's and they, they wouldn't get a chance. I don't know if one comma... You might need a space because it has spaces in the example. Uh -huh. Zach uh, Scolero. Um, just maybe retype it because it'll, it'll just replace whatever you do. Um, so yeah, the votes are coming in. And I th you can change your vote. So what you might want to do is put it all in one line. So Atari Spot's doing two six two one six. Maybe do two comma one comma six. Yeah, good idea. Just in case. So I don't let's know how go this with works the, that, this. This is the it. first time I've ever used this. That sounds like uh, how so. It works. So far, the Atari seventy eight hundred is. Oh no, the original VCS hardware is winning. Oh wow. With thirty seven point five percent. So what I would I, the ones I use, the what I play it on is emulation. Um, I do a lot of testing on emulation beforehand, and I play with a modified one. Yeah. So those would be two, mine. So maybe I should type it in too. Yeah, Tari just said it did take all my votes, so I guess you don't have to redo it if you've already done it. Oh, okay, good. And then, so I would do one comma two. And, there we go. And, and that counts for my vote as well. Cause yeah. I, actually, <laughs> I only do it when I'm here. <laughs> That's true. But you you would only vote for, oh, not not original. Sorry, one comma three. Because mine's altered. There we go. Oh, no. So did I mess it up? Did I vote for two? And do I have to go minus two? Or? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see how it works. First poll. <laughs> First poll. Yeah, it did take all his votes. Okay, so it just keeps adding. I don't know how you subtract. Did it say it in the... Wade Rain's in there, too. Thanks, Wade. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for everybody for voting. And uh, we'll keep continuing that on, and we can come back to it as well yeah, that's for it. people who are coming in. Uh, and then you can also add up some of the YouTube ones, too, as well, just to sort of get a sense of it. And... Yeah, yeah, exactly, afterwards. Um, so if you're in the YouTubes watching this later, um, you can see it on the screen. Just type in your numbers and we'll be able to figure that out. Or you can type a comment as well because it doesn't doesn't work. Like you can't really yeah. vote later. Um, so the options are emulator for one. Second one's original VCS hardware, which would be like this, just unmodified, out of the box, oh, you know. Cool. See, there's the RF right there. Yeah, that's so, classic stuff yeah. right there. Um, a modded VCS, which is this one, which is RGB. Or S video or composite or anything like that. Um, I've never seen this before. That FPGA cool. HDMI system, which is in the future, oh, it doesn't nice. exist. Actually, there is a way of doing it. I can't remember the meth, the box that's out, but there's one that you can flash with different game systems. It's very, very expensive. I can't remember what it is. Uh, the other ones, Atari seventy eight hundred or ColecoVision or Intellivision, because ColecoVision and Intellivision had add-ons. Oh, that you could play like that Atari you could play games? Atari. Wow. And they got sued, but they won because it was all off-the-shelf stuff. Yeah. And so th it they were fine with doing that. Uh, 
and other flashback portable which are all those handheld you know at games things or yeah. those joysticks that plug directly into your tv you ever seen those that you can buy like for ten dollars at the oh, store yeah, so, they're super oh this like... has space invaders on it and you just plug it in your tv super garbage but uh flashback portables actually my, half um... decent my dad had like he got like a CD at one point for like his Windows ninety five. <laughs> okay, yeah. It just had like so many old games on it. So that's what I used to play a lot of games on when I was little. It was right. Just a CD with tons of stuff, but I think it was mostly arcade games. Like oh. it was like things like Asteroids, things oh. like um, uh, uh, what's the one with the the Space Invaders? Yep, Space Invaders um, go back and like forth. Pong. Uh, there was one called like stuff. Breakout where you like have Old like a thing. Stuff. Yeah, Old. that was a, that late, was late seventies stuff. That wow. was what I that was what I did, and it didn't even have like Mario or anything like that. It was no, just that's such, way was, too yeah advanced. That's <laughs> like was, mid mid eighties. Oh, there was some that. weird one where you jump up a mountain with a guy. Anyways, it was lots uh, of weird no, ones. I don't know that one. Um, which leads me to somebody just announced, mm, kind of announced two weeks ago that a new 7800 FPGA is coming out with HDMI output. Wow. That it's compatible with the 2600. So this will replace the 2600. It'll replace the 7800. Um, and it's coming from Kurt Vendel, um, who has been working on an expansion module for the 7800. Wow. Um, that has better audio because the audio for the 7800, they cheaped out and used the same chip as the 2600. <laughs> Bad decision, but uh, anyway... Um, it's called the Syzygy, Syzygy, Synergy? Syn no, 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 that, that uh, sounds too, no, too. Syzygy, Syzygy, the Syzygy 3200, Syzygy, 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 Syzygy sounds more like a word, <laughs> but Syzygy's funnier, so I yeah. like Syzygy. <laughs> so, uh, it's multiple things all put together which i'm guessing he why he named it that because it's the 2600 and the 7800 and you like subtract one from the other or something weird like that um so originally it was going to be a system uh to replace the 2600 co codenamed uh super stella because that was originally codenamed stella or system x or sylvania it was going to be compatible with 2600 but it would be like an upgrade version um, but it was difficult to program and they scrapped it and they put out the 5200, um, which was based on their computer line, the Atari computer line. But anyway, that is coming out, but he doesn't have a, people are like a little iffy on it because he originally announced his add-on module like a long time ago, yeah. like seven years ago. And then he said, oh, it's ready in a month at the beginning of 2018 and nothing's come out so they're like a little iffy on supporting him but hopefully he follows through and does finish it um it's supposed to be coming out sometime soon so i'll be following that because that would be a, a really really cool option be amazing to be able to just you know have that compatibility and hdmi output and uh, we'll have to see yeah he did flashback to atari on a chip so he has some track record, but just this one thing that he's been promising for That's the 7800, he's kind of waffled a bit and it's he's very suspicious. run into trouble, let's say. He does have he does have valid excuses, but it's been just a really long time frame he's been working on it. And people that gave him money like seven years ago for it, which is like not... It's dicey territory. Yeah, it is. You got to be very careful with that stuff, you know? Uh, promising things to people, yeah. yeah. I mean, we did a Kickstarter for the film. And it took a lot longer than we thought, but the people were very nice about it because we showed that, yeah, we're working yeah, on it. It's still happening. And... and now it's finally done, and they got most of their rewards except for the film on on Video On Demand, which will only be like yeah. another six months or something. So they'll get it. <laughs> I'm buying a Blu-ray burner, by the way, if you need one. Oh, I've got one. You've got one? Cool. <laughs> a million years I'm sure ago. you had one, but I was just letting you know. If you yeah, oh, like bright. five years ago. Yeah, I just, yeah, I'm getting one because I... But it's handy. Yeah. For festivals. But and also just to even play. About 0% of festivals use Blu-rays now. They're yeah. all digital, which, oh my God, so much better. So much better. Even yeah. just, I just want to just be able to play DVDs and Blu-rays off my computer. Yes. Because I'm Super weird. Super handy. Or, I don't really have... Or rip them. It. Yeah, or rip for, them too. For home use. Yes. Because you own them. Not, but just, Actually, you would own them. Yeah, no, but I, 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 it's a weird thing. I don't have a TV. I have a computer, and I've always uh, had a computer, right? So it's one of these weird things where I'm like, 
What do I do? You can get ex. This is going way off topic. You can get external um, SATA uh, um, controllers. Yeah. So if you buy an external um, Blu-ray player and it's just a plug and goes to USB three. Yeah. So you don't have to put it in a box. I don't know if you, what you bought. I haven't, did you buy? I haven't bought it yet. Okay, so don't we'll buy We'll talk about it later. Yeah, <laughs> it's all we'll good. talk about it later. It's time back for the track. games. Yes, yeah, back on track. <laughs> um, so we're going to play the Max first. Oh. So let's get on I with just, that. This is a conundrum because Atari is like sleeping magically between us. And I'm worried about Look, his legs I know. are like balanced on me. Oh. But, it, but I also don't, so I don't want to move. You don't have to move, do you? No, I'll stay no, here. No, We'll stay move. here. We'll let Atari. As long as you can, right? Let Atari rest. He, uh, listen, is not purring? Oh. Just his snoring cat. Yeah, he's snoring. He's not purring. He's asleep. Oh, he's awake. Um, okay, so let's get on to this. Let me load the first one up. You stay there, buddy. So this is, uh, what did I say? Danny? Yeah. Danny's the first one. Oh. So go down to Danny. Go down to that. Danny Beta. Cool. Danny! <laughs> Danny! <laughs> That's what I thought of the first... Uh, uh, when I heard the the name of this, when I was <laughs> thinking of Jack uh, Jack Nicholson <laughs> crying out in The Shining for Danny. That's Danny, right, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Um, okay, Should I just so start. And we'll... Yeah, it's just go for it. It's not super oh complicated. Whoa! Okay, I jumped. Turn I dodged some stuff. Bit. Bam! I don't know if I was supposed to. So like... Danny's oh, a skateboarder. God. Whoa! Turn up the audio Danny for the audience. Danny is good. Ooh, okay. Um, what happens? Ooh, I got some stuff. Bam, bam. What? <laughs> oh, I see. I got to jump with my skateboard for That's some That's right. Stuff. Okay, so this is made by The Max, and it's made in oh, Atari God. Basic. Oh, God. Oh, Oops. God. Oh, God. Okay, I'm, I'm understanding. Lots, lots uh, of things happening here. I'm understanding the situation, though. Okay, so, like, I got some stuff. Whoa. See, I got to... So oh, there's God. not much instructions going on for this one. Skate jump down a over. road. Whoa. Collect like fruit. I think I gotta uh don't yeah. Avoid obstacles. Bam. And dodge Daddy. and dodge the police. Oh my god. Oh. Woo. So I don't see the police yet. I've never seen the police while playing this Whoa. game. Whoa, okay, that's not good. That's not good. Danny The hamburger will replenish help. Health. Oh, I need one of those then. So yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Getting better. So fire begins the game or jumps. Fire and up always. Down crouches. Right and left speed forward and slow down. So this uh, reminds me a lot of... What is that game? Where you can get the skateboard. Um, damn it. Well, there's like the Back to the Future one, but I don't think that's right. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's a terrible game. I've seen videos of that. Me too. <laughs> it looks torturous to play. See, this guy's like, oh, he's messing with my stuff. Getting oh, better. God, oh, that okay. one is really high. What's this? It's a cat. Pretty good looking cat. Atari. The birds are really Represented nice. in this game. <laughs> that's right. Oh, he's an orange cat. Not quite oh, Atari. Not quite as cool as Atari. Okay. So you're oh. getting the hang of it. Yeah. A little bit. I'm kind of like figuring out how to dodge stuff. I'm like... Skate. You can skate up those ramps. I can? Okay. Yeah, so just press forward. Okay. Oh, Whoa. there's a police. Whoa, okay. Oh, jeez, he died. I oh, got no. scared because of Just the on the police. You said you Adventure never... Island, yes. Thank you, Atari Spot. You said that you'd never seen the police, though. No, that's the first time I've ever oh, seen the police. Oh, made it up the thing. Oh, cool. So you made it to the jump police. Over so that it's a thing? little bit. So. Bam, jump over Ollie, bam. So this is really, really nice looking. This is cool. Uh, also, the sunset is behind. Yeah. Oh, okay. Very few games actually um, make the sunset. Help. It's always usually just static. The only one I've, I think I've... I mean, there's a couple. It ones, was that but... cool, um, uh, like, uh, Tour de France type one where, you, where you're cycling. That one was amazing. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But that was still a static one, too. Wasn't it? Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay, so it's I, I need some hamburgers pretty badly. Yeah, you're running out. I haven't seen a hamburger. Oh my god. Lots of pears and oranges. I guess it and just apples. gives me like some... There's a hamburger! Yes! Oh, oh you gotta go up, oh, I think. Oh god, I gotta jump. You have to oh. jump while going up the ramp. Danny. <laughs> just you're killing me, Danny. <laughs> we need this. Okay, bam, up the thing. Whoa. Oh, oh. very acrovision looking. <laughs> Activision, yeah. What's Activision? Is that that's obviously a that system. was um, the first third-party video game company. 
Um, and oh. they started off doing Atari 2600 games. Oh, oh we missed the hamburger. That's really hard. Activision still oh, exists. Man. It's still a, not a huge, as big as it was, but they did. Oh, what, what modern games do they do? Um, they did. Uh, they did. A, their their trademark was really colorful games. Um, they were like, the game's not good. We'll just make it look good. Oh, but all their games were good. Were they good? They oh, were I'm the sorry. best games, actually. I shouldn't undercut it. I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. But they often had sunsets uh, in their games. What, what games have they made? Uh, let me get a good list of them. Um, they made Pitfall. Um, let me get a good You list. said third party. I assume bad. No, because there was... Oh, Back then, no, there was only first-party games. Oh, I guess so, like Atari like, just Atari made, made Atari. Atari games. And Activision did not allow Flickr at all. They were like... No, not allowed. This game does have Flickr, so it wouldn't have been an Activision game. Uh, yeah, they were very particular about um, oh my God. what they allowed in their games, and they were also the... F oh, no. They all came from Atari. And the w reason they left is because Atari was not giving them any credit on their games. They wouldn't name them. They thought they were just as important as the people who put the packaging together wow. on on the games. That's a mistake. Yeah, so all their best programmers left and well, formed, like, their, formed their own company. <laughs> I'm on board with that. That's what I would do, too. And then They're the renegade oh, programmers. Yeah. And they and made their... Um, themselves into like the superstars they were like no this guy made this game and you know dan dan kitchen who i'm going to be interviewing is is what was one of those people who worked really for Activision. yeah and he and he, that's he's kept going with his games right he's just continued yeah. to to make homebrew games and... so, oh, so you're gonna get some like uh some deep cut stories of activision potentially oh well those are dime a dozen actually really oh, um, okay i'm going for homebrew Let's see, homebrew. Oh, no. This is hard to find. Oh no, maybe the damn kitchen didn't work for them. Bam, bam. I'm talking crap. Bam. That would be cool. And then who knows? How many? There we go. There's so many. There's so many people. There's so many facts. The big ones: uh, Kaboom, Keystone Capers, Pitfall, no. River Raid. Let's see what else. A thousand games. Oh, I was doing so well, man. Freeway, Frostbite, oh, Ghostbusters, Hero. Ghostbusters. Uh, Barnstorming. Yes, I, got, I got the... Hamburger? Yeah, for the first time. No. Nice. That's getting harder, though, man. It's speeding up it's a little bit. getting harder. This is, the, this is the best I've ever done. A thousand. Oh, no. Okay, now it's my turn. Yes, definitely your turn. <clears throat> so, let's see. Is there a small... Oh, this big jump is without the skateboard. A small jump is with it. And also, some stuff needs a ramp, right? Like, that's you need to ride the ramp and jump off of it. And you just press the button on that one? No, you gotta do both. Okay. You gotta... Oh, I guess you... No, no, you gotta... You gotta just do the single off of the ramp. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Well, no, you gotta like kind of ride it all the way to the top, and then. Oh, because like... I did it too. You have to be in the air, maybe. Yeah, I think so. It's weird. <laughs> Let's it's... see. No. No, I guess you gotta. <laughs> kind of like... just reset it. Uh. Yeah, you start. You'll start to learn like. Um, what to do ones. when? Because that, like those balls, you can just jump. So you have to bring your skateboard over the cap. Exactly. Okay. So like. Like the like like uh I'll tell you. So this one you duck easy. And this one you can just jump. You don't oh, you, you can just jump. Yeah, but then this one you gotta ollie. <laughs> Basically, the ball is the only one that you like uh, uh, can can just jump normally. But everything else requires the skateboard. Okay. Whoa. Yeah. See that one? Bam. And then when the there's a game for the um, Commodore 64 I had that I played called Potty Pigeon. <laughs> and you were playing the pigeon, crapping all over cars, <laughs> and like picking up sticks to uh, build your nest, and that bird just totally reminds me of it, because that's exactly what you did. So what you're saying ah. is this is a crossover, you're getting the other side. That's right. This now is like when we played, what was that one that we played, that Get. noir game? 
Yeah, Spies in the Night. Yeah, yeah. this is like Spies in the Night, where it's but the like... Other, the other end. You're on the receiving end of the cat of the uh, bird's butt. That's right. You get to find out what happened in the lighthouse. Oh. You get to try to shit on a kid who's <laughs> riding skateboards, yeah. trying to eat his fruit. I can't do it! You know what's very suspicious about this game, though, is that the hamburger is what gives you health, and all this fruit gives you nothing. What kind of values is this game telling us? I know! <laughs> it's all backwards. It's like apples pff, do nothing bananas. for you kids. No, bananas, oranges, no, nothing. no, no. Hamburgers, that's what you gotta jump for. See, there you go. You gotta, you just you gotta... do it. You just do it. Yeah. You just press forward. That's how it works. Okay, you don't press the punt jump button. Ugh, that one screwed me, actually. Ah! Fucking mass on this one. It's just learning all the different things. Yeah. And once you find the pattern, it's like it never changes. Yeah. Uh, I'm doing the wrong jump. The yep, yeah, just, dude. All you do is press forward on that. Good. That's a lot easier. Oh, yeah. I always pull back when the bird comes. Yeah. But then, uh, kind of let it do its thing and then, and then pull back. Exactly. Yeah. That's okay. how I've been doing it. I oh, see so you got it that way that time. But I find it easy if you just jump just jump. Yeah. With them. I can do everything. That's just jump. That's everything. Duck jump. Ugh. Yeah, and then pull back. Bam! Doesn't give you full health. Oh, there's another one. Oh, oh, good luck. Just, just kind of killing it every time. Every time I get the hamburger, I just waste it immediately. Oh! One more. Give this back to you. I love about like um, these homebrew games is some of them are so big and some of them are so small and it's not to suggest one's better than the other but it's no. like something like this is cool because it's just so simple it's like I mean is one there, thing and right? you just do it and you see how high you can get and then you think about like that game like that stacks game it's, it's like, huge it's like right? holy cow it's like or like um, so complicated yeah or like these like RPGs that you gotta like yeah. draw a map with you know? it's crazy it is and you know they're both totally good they're just yeah good in their own ways right and it's like this is just like and i some games you just want to pick up and you know play for a little bit and like a meme like, jump or something like that is like uh, oh my god this is like pat ah oh, pattern memorization i know it's brutal. it's not easy it looks like oh yeah you just do it but <laughs> see, <laughs> see I'm just like, I'm like didn't even try i'm just like this game and the full level dk 2600 Oh, Batari Basic. What is done? It's done in Batari Basic. Yes. So there's two big methods right now. Well, three. But um, one is Batari Basic, where things are kind of simplified for you, where there's like if then statements. You can punch in the graphics a lot easier. Um, there's modules that are pre done that. If you want to do certain things, it's like, oh, just plug in this, this, and this, and it makes it easier. Oh, see, those balls are the hardest. Yeah. And it's not even timing. It's just remembering just to press the button. That's it. Well, with the balls, it's like, you got it. those are the ones you got to get the timing right. Because, like, oh, sacrificed yourself for a points. For nothing. Yeah. Um, and then the other way is uh, assembly language, which is you're programming every little thing. Like if you want to add something, you have to do. You have to add it. If you want to make a graphic, it has to be precise. If you want to do, it's just a lower level language. No, you're doing oh, way worse! What's happening? I was doing so well. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like overthinking it. If that makes sense. And then, if you want to program for one of these cartridges with the coprocessor, it's different languages like C. Um, I believe I've never done it. So. Now you're back. Uh, this is a tie, because I, I, I supposed to say this is the Batari Basic DPC Plus kernel. I made Donkey Kong Arcade 2600 with the same. So, for making a Batari Basic, it would have like, see the title screen with Danny, it would have something for title screens. And you would just punch in what you want, what colors, and it would say, it would have a 
a pre-built way of doing a title screen. Or, you see the, the score below, it would have a pre-done way of doing scores. Or um, the line with the health, it would have a line of different ways of, of uh, showing the line. And you would program the different characters, like you, the protagonist, um, all the enemies, but uh, I'm just guessing because I've never done it. Um, when I make a game, I'll be making it in uh, assembly. Uh, Zach Scalero says, DPC plus CDF is a mix of assembly and C. Okay, so you do, you program assembly. Uno will be C plus plus. Oh, okay. Very, very cool. Oh, Zach, is this God, the Zach? Look. Zach, oh! This is the, the best I've done, and he just appeared. Out. So at about 4,000, he pops up. I believe Zach is the guy I've been talking with. Really? About the Uno card and the first ever game made for the Uno card. If wow. it's the same Zach, I'm sure it is. Do you want to give a go? One more trial. Yeah, this. because I got, I, I got to... That's the best I've done. Oh, I think you were having trouble because this button was on. Oh. Mega Fire, which rapidly presses that button. Oh, okay. That, that's probably it. Part of it. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> I was just so just. It was like, like that's weird. You're not doing as well as before. It took me some time also to find the rhythm too. <sighs> you know, like it's it's not it's you can do well. It's those balls that are the hardest. If they just kind of trick you because everything else is um, pressing up in the button except for the ball. You can do up in the button. Yeah, it's just harder. It's also one of those funny things, right? Where you're just like. Sometimes you, you forget what the goal of a game like this is, which is really not to get hurt. You know, it doesn't yes. matter how exactly. many, like, bits you get. It, it's, like, far more significant not to get damaged, so you may as well just, like, if you have to choose between, like, being killed or getting a point, you always have to pick... Not getting hurt. Yeah. yeah, so as soon as I focus my attention on just making sure I survive, I do so much better than trying to get all the food. That's the... Oh, that's the really smart... Thing to do with this game yeah because it's, it's uh, just until you get better at it and just knowing avoiding the dangers first really. yeah yeah that's a good way to approach this game actually because really it's like that's what you got to do because who cares about the points and you'll get them over time anyways obviously like some points are, are good yeah because it'll speed you up and actually it's better. way easier if you're doing that yeah that's a good strategy for this and some some games do trick you into sacrificing yourself like, oh i gotta get that thing but in reality you should just concentrate on staying alive yeah because it's like then you get to go as far as you want especially when you're trying to get the police car and to just even come on i gotta get to the police car yeah <laughs> just to see what it does like it looks like it slowly creeps up on you oh and, yeah and limits your screen space atari spot just said is there a benefit to pushing forward to go faster does the police car arrive if you stay towards the left of the screen and it's very possible man but it's be a harder game right because yeah. like if you're right up against the edge then you got to dodge everything which i think i think the police car just limits the screen so you then have yes. to be far, farther forward so you don't have as much time to think about what's going on because it seemed to appear at the same time the both times it was around four thousand points oh uh, i so bet I, it's points i think it's triggered based. by that I'm um, triggered by it too. <laughs> it's hard. I instantly die, or I'm probably so low by that point that it's just like, yep, yeah. It's well, I noticed what happened is, is like, oh, there's, there's crazy the, now. There's like two hamburgers, um, and oh. then there's the police car. Now I don't know if that's hamburger, the case. hamburger one, oh. and then we'll see if this is. The ah! <laughs> yeah, I bet it. Try just not to die. That's all you got to do. <laughs> just don't die. You feel like you get hurt, right? It's like, because yeah. who cares if you get like an apple or something? Yeah. A really great way of making nice graphics on the 2600 is this, what this game is employing is this stacking of colors. Like you look at the pear and the orange, just everything actually, the orange cat. Um, everything is super colorful and it's changing every line, the colors. To make it look more detailed than it actually is. The pine cone, or sorry, the, the traffic cone looks really cool. You yeah. Know, like yield signs and everything. Because it's it's very hard to put two colors on the same line, but it's very easy to put. Oh, I could yeah, have jumped over that. Well, it's tough, man. It's like. 
Oh, see. It's gonna be harder than normal. Oh, okay, so right. see, there you go, around 4,000. This car's there, right? Well, I'm not gonna make it very far, I don't think. It's just like, and I think he's just there to, to make your life hard. Oh, and he's going away. He's going, going away. away. Oh, he's he coming back. Up. Oh, maybe you have to outrun him. Because I was ahead, and then I pulled back, and he came forward again. Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay, I got to the car. I'm happy. Hi. Personal best, 5,500. Yep. Top score. Where's Arena Foot? No. Yeah. <laughs> keep our scores. Okay, we're going to move on to the next game. Um, yeah, really, really that fun. That was a fun game. Super man. colorful. Really, that'd yeah. That would be cool if the police car made noises, though. Oh, definitely. It'd be annoying, though. After a while. Maybe just when it comes on. Yeah, the on first the time and you're like, oh, damn. And the lights on it should change, too. So let's go back and check out our poll. So mostly people are using original VCS hardware, which is not surprising because it is a little bit of effort to change, to uh, modify it. You have to buy something, you have to put it in, Absolutely. or you have to pay more to, to have somebody else do it. And then there's like a, a big tie between emulator... Atari 7800 and other systems and just other things, just other fun things you just yeah. play 2600 games on. Like, um, say a modern console, they have these like flashback series of old games and you can buy like, you know, there'd be like 50, 50 Atari games on a disc and you play it on your PS4 or whatever. I have tons of those. Yeah. They just reissue them all the time. So Activision has done that and other game systems have done that. Pull down the button. Oh, yep. Uh, oh, it's this one right here, eh? Uh, it'd be this. Yep, that one. Today's date. And, and we're no gonna play. Touchy. No touchy. No <sighs> Okay. So wait a second. Go in there. Yep. And this one right here. There we here. go. Yep. So this is made by the same programmer in the same year, 2017. Wow. Um. That's oh, a, it has a similar as like page. It's like you can feel, you know what I mean? It's like yeah. got the, it's got the same start thing. After a while, you get a sense of what was made in basic and what has been made in, because it's just certain looks to basic programs because they're using kind of templates. Know, templates, yeah. I guess That's it's a like, good way of saying like, it. It's like, what is it? Like Squarespace that does website yeah. design or you whatever. You can tell that's a Wix um, page or a Squarespace page because... There's only so many and templates. WordPress that, has exactly, its own. yeah. So this is made as well by the Max, and this was uh, put up on March twenty second, uh, two thousand seventeen. Oh my god! <laughs> this is also a, a one hit death. No, actually, the other one had. I don't it understand though. It's like I'm. I can only like. <laughs> oh my god! No touchy. So I. It's like it's like right and left doesn't seem to do anything. It's like it's only... a button game. Oh. One of those great button games. Oh, oh my god. Huh. Um, so this has no instructions whatsoever. It just says, fire to begin, fire to play, and fire to restart. That's it. That's the instructions. Oh. This guy's not good, on, not big on instructions, that's for sure. Okay. Um, so what I gather, it's kind of like Flappy Bird, except you're trapped <laughs> in a terrible, terrible in cave. In a nightmare. In a nightmare, a waking nightmare. And you're picking up eggs at how many points 30 points oh, you get, what, you're getting points for for eggs for eggs but also touching the side oh you made it to orange level yeah okay that's, that's better than good. before 320 points uh so i looked up and gretham was like you can do it i was like yay get to that card i was like oh, oh that was for james joust egg wave in prison Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a really great way of describing it. Because that's how you move around in Joust, if you've ever played Joust. No. It, you're just flapping around, oh except God. there's enemies, and you have to land on top of them, like in Mario, like you smack their head. But when you smack them, they drop an egg. You have to collect those eggs. Friends, this is harder than it looks. <laughs> it's looking hard, actually. Holy cow. <laughs> I mean... He moves pretty, like, like it's a lot of jumpy. Yeah, it's right? like if I just let him, like, just like go, that's what happens. Gravity's not too bad. It's, it's, yeah, it's not it's terrible. It's the flapping up that's probably the more danger. Oh, uh, see, it's like hard, like something like that. I don't know what you do. Do you want to try? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What this did is, you get up to? I got up to like 320. That's Doesn't the, save the high that's score. That's the best I could do. Boo. Okay. Okay. 
Oh yeah. Okay. Ah. Uh, it's bad when that thing's in the middle. Cause oh, it's hard. I <laughs> like that. <laughs> Watch well, out. you got the mega fire on again. Do what I? are you doing so bad? You accidentally. Actually, when it resets, it sometimes goes on too. So I can't blame you completely. Oh. Yeah, no wonder you're having trouble, because it was double pressing sometimes. See, it's much more control. Oh, good, thank God. Still hard. He said, watch out for those four pixel wide spikes. That's <laughs> <laughs> right, man. <laughs> yeah, they, they're quite spiky. They're really spiky. I was I like, three pick. I was like, no, yeah. That's one, two, three, four. <laughs> they could have pointed out the middle one one more. Red. And they would be more spiky. We made it to the room. Oh, now there's two of them. That's right. Damn it. Oh, yeah, this is... Uh, oh, is there, oh, one one sometimes. Oh, green. green. Oh, and it speeds up. <gasps> okay, green. let's see how this Gotta is... Gotta make it to green. I didn't make it past the first level of oh, green. this is a bit easier, man. Yeah. Way easier. I have the feeling this game is or can be very... Uh, it's not really frustrating. I don't know if I'd call it frustrating. I find it meditating. Yeah. No, it's, I'm just it's, kidding. <laughs> it's, no, not meditating. This is I not, wouldn't get that egg right now. I would not go for it. it it's hard. Oh, dude, and the only way to get, like, points is to get this freaking egg. <laughs> you can fly forever and not get anything. Oh. But it changed to orange without I did you a... touching it. I think that's just timing. So getting the, I'm going to watch that when it changes to orange, whether it's on the egg. We'll see if I make it. Or whether it's on how many Whoa. bounces. But I think it's on bounces. Yeah, it changed on bounces. So if you're missing eggs, you're going to have a hard time getting score. Ooh, I didn't get it now. Oh, That's too I, tough. The, I don't know how to not, not do that, though. No, that one's too hard. This is my last one before I let you do it. I'm hogging that. Oh. oh, what? You bounced up out, out of the... Right out of the spike. You almost made it out of the cave. <laughs> yeah, that's the way out. The only way out is through. Is death. To be reborn again. <laughs> Back in here. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> There's no escape. Oh, also, if you look, this um, game... Has way more colors than normal. Look at the bird. Red? Yeah. Red and white on the same line because it's using two player graphics for the bird. Wow. Which is very unusual um, because this is such a simplistic um, graphically game. I guess you can get away with like. Because when you're on the same line as the egg, it starts to flash. The egg flashes, right? Um, that's how they get away with the two colors. So interesting. There's like always these things in these games. Whoa, like, whoa, whoa. High whoa. score, personal best. <laughs> it's going very fast now. Whoa, whoa. What's after green? We'll find more green. More green. <laughs> Different shade of green. Oh, the egg didn't appear right away. Gaia is... Uh, <laughs> oh. 1,500. I retire on That's that legend. <laughs> That's legend That's status? That's legend status. That okay, I'm going to try and... Get to green, at least. Oh, Did God. you get to green? No, man. <laughs> Five points. <laughs> Personal low. Is what Personal we're low. I don't know if they even... Because you get five points for hitting a wall. So you'd have to die before hitting a wall. So you do get points for the wall, not just for the egg. But only five. It's not very much. You get how much for an egg? You get 130... Get 20 points for an egg. So they're very low scoring. Mr. Peck says, nice, Anne. Called oh, you my Anne. God. Called you Anne. That's okay, man. <laughs> Not even Anne. People Anne. call me a lot of things. Oh. No, I don't mean it in that way. I just, <laughs> just mean my name names. is so unusual. Oh, 800, though. Is there other Oh, airlines? I'm going to try one more. Is there other airlines? There, you th are. You did say there's other airlines. There's a couple other airlines. Any famous airlines? No. Except for me, no. I'm not the most kidding. famous airline, according to Google, is Stellini Textile Group. Some guy. Damn it, Stellini. <laughs> Damn you, Stellini. <laughs> I took my fame away from me again. That's <laughs> all I've ever wanted. Oh, it's a it's a product. God. It's a type of 
textile for mattresses? Aralyn is? <laughs> yes. They've named it after you. They did. That's quite an it's honor. what I've always wanted. <laughs> <laughs> and the rest is you. All these years. The rest oh. is just you, 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 and you, and you, and you. See, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, it is good. Mine? I had to add words to my name. I had to add my middle name so people could find me. I think we're, like, getting close to, to like, I mean, if I were to get, like, not that I'm, like, have a huge uh, internet presence. Yeah. But, I mean, I think if I have more Thanks, of Grant one, yeah. I think it'll start to be, like, just hogging. Because, I mean, if I'm competing against a, a, a Text. mattress textile, <laughs> I mean, most I people... You, you can beat it. I, I can, believe in you that one day to, you'll beat the textile. To one day be <laughs> more famous than textiles. <laughs> Hold on, I want to try one more. I want to see if I can get this. I get to green. I got to green. Gretem says you can do it. Get to green. I got, can... I got to green. All right. oh. You did get to green? I did. I was oh, at 800. Okay. But I'll get to it again. Yeah. Because you won't believe me. No, I didn't see it. I'll have to watch it on the count. replay. Oh my God. If, if an airline makes it to green, does it? Does it make a sound? <laughs> it, it, we'll find out what sound it makes. Oh my god, did you see that? That was close. That was very close. You oh. almost got that spike. These eggs, man, they're just... Did that one oh! Oh. Got too close. I'm playing the like, long game too close and it's taken nine years. Your wings melted. I'm Icarus. Yeah, in this. Icarus the bird. Oh god, I that's what it should be named. If they had a name for it, this bird should be named Icarus. Oh, see, like, how come my eggs end up there? That's like, a tough, tough egg. Like, and oh. I, like, I can't even do anything with it. Like, what the, What do you do with this egg? And it's not going away. No, you have to get it. Oh, God. See, easy I don't know egg. if the levels are easy on points, egg. though. Whoa, you actually went into that. They... Look! No, not that one. Okay. Now it's going to be bad again. Oh! Come on. Okay, Come on. I'm, I'm, I'm a green this. Hold on. I just need a little bit of luck. That's all we need. There's a little bit of luck. True. There is a lot of luck in this. Like the eggs. Like could look be on... at this, right? Like this. <laughs> like what not... am I supposed to do? It's not too bad. It's not like. Like look. Not there. I wouldn't do it then. No. Like meanwhile. Like... Oh no no don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> See this is that is brutal. luck. That is a lot of bad See, now luck. Now you're in the clear. There you go. Don't but do then it. Look. Wow. This is terrible. Oh, oh, and then I get overzealous. Okay. I'm going to defeat this. See? Bam. Luck. Yep. <laughs> what? There you go. Mr. Fix is rooting Look, for you. Look again. Okay, okay. There you go. We just got to oh, get. There you go. You slammed. Oh, wow. Oh! oh you oh. are getting a lot of bad luck. Like, I mean, if they all ended up in the middle. You'd be golden. Especially what? like middle, middle. Like, that, see, that's no problem. Oh, you just got two in a row. Yeah, okay, we go. got some now luck. Now you're getting some luck going on. Okay, now this is going to be hard. No, no, no. Ooh. Not the worst spikes, but not, oh, man. Like, uh, physics tells me, nah. Okay. Okay, we can do this. Yeah. Okay, not I've bad. To, oh, good. I've had to train this... <laughs> For I'm years, like Rocky, for man. I've been chasing chickens. Oh, you're at green. Now it's speedy. Which is kind of good because it gets you across the screen fast without too many bounces. But it's also very hectic. Ooh. Oh, oh 1300. Oh, it's not as good as James, but I, I trained. I, I, I had, to, I fought for that. You did. You definitely <laughs> fought for that. I good earned job. that. I earned that second tier green. Oh, okay. So original VCS hardware is the winner because the poll closed. I think okay. it goes on for an hour, something half an like hour, that. something like that. That's yeah, I saw enough. it kind of like did its thing. Yep. So great. Oh. So that was fun. That's a fun little. That's game. a cool one. Very clean. Very colorful. Very, it's cool. I like these couple simple games, you know. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta uh, play oh, simple yeah. ones. That. Uh... Yeah, like I think the biggest game we've ever played is stacks, in my opinion. Oh no. What's the biggest game we've played? Well, actually, it's pretty complicated. Don't don't press anything yet. Um, Anguna was a big one. Which one was Anguna? That's, That's a, a... like the first one you ever played, where you came in and just drew maps. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that <laughs> was like, fun. Oh, this kind of sucks for you. No, I think that was the second one. I think I was did. It? I did one before that, and then the second one was Anguna. But Anguna's a big one. Stax is a big one, but it doesn't you? It you can map that one, yeah. Yeah. Um, what are some other big ones? Any adventure ones? There was a Viking one that we played. It wasn't quite as big as Anguna though. Um, so this is Escape It. It's our third game. Let's take a look at some info here. This is a cat stream today. Yeah. Atari's here for the whole time. It's awesome. He's liking it. He's liking these games today. Sometimes they won't even come in. They'll yeah. be gone the whole time. Or they're just messing with or your they're sound messing the, the whole, whole time. time. We have to close the door. It's nice and cool in here today. So this is made by Acoustic Guitar. And it was post cool. posted in 2009. So this is a little bit older of a game. And this is actually two player. I gotta get my joystick. Oh, cool. Yeah. Let me get a joystick. Oh, actually, it's over here. Oh, sweet. Good news. So let's turn this off. Oh, you got like so many RCA cables, man. <laughs> oh, that's not even half of it. I've got way more RCA cables than that. Damn. It's from when RCA ruled the world and everything was connected by RCAs. Um, but now they're not, so I just have lots of RCAs that I yeah. can't bring myself to get rid of. Everything is HDMI now. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, I, I worked at this place, which was, like, used to have all these tape decks and all this craziness, and then oh, we, we, so I ripped it all apart, and they were like, yep, this all goes through one Thunderbolt. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And I was like, oh. Okay, hold it down. Got it. Okay. No Atari box. I had to unplug it from the second port. Oh, it's all oh lost. sorry. It's all right. Bye, Atari. Maybe you, you'll be back. You can come back if you want, buddy. Yep. Or I can go in the... F we might settle on. Come on. Yeah. There yeah, we go. Cat stream. Cat stream. <laughs> oh, it's, this is almost like one of those optical illusions. Um, if you don't look at a spot... If you look at a spot, all the other things around it have little dots in the crosses. Oh, yeah, you're like right. Like kind of gray crosses. But when you look at they disappear. Then you look, disappear, but they're in every other one. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it's a little trick your eyes play on you. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Oh, actually, oh, I sorry. have played this before, so I will show you how to play. What so you move your gut around your dude, and the goal is to get to the top right corner. Oh, I see, but I'm like trapped in the middle of a maze. And it's an ever-changing maze. Oh, my God. Okay, so you're clearly... Yeah, I won. <laughs> okay. So I'm green, Erlen is purple. As usual. And there's no sound to this game, I don't think. Oh my god. Uh, ah, 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 oh. Ah. So you will get differently trapped. You get to start it. You have to press the button. Which gives you a bit of an advantage because you know when. Oh my god, yeah, you're uh, getting this uh, one. Come on. And you can get kind of get trapped in the walls. Yeah, this is like, wow, I've never thought of something like this I before. Know. This it's an really ever-changing maze. Oh! And it's kind of random when things change and where you are. Yeah, right? it's definitely, like, very different. I've never done anything like this one before. Oh. And, like, you want to push. And sometimes you're like, oh, should I go for that direction? And sometimes it'll screw you. <gasps> oh. Yeah. Because you're like, oh, there's a way around, and then put you further from the Back. goal. Yeah, it's almost like, and then, and then like, depending on how oh. you're doing... Well, radically. Whoa. <laughs> total, yeah, that was total blackout. That was, uh, oh, yeah, see, I'm like in the middle. I'm stuck. <laughs> Rip. Stuck in a wall and, until the wall goes away. Oh, yeah, I suppose to the Hungarian making making Choplifter. We play Choplifter. Yeah, I remember that one. He added the jet fighter and an alien that comes down and steals people. Like in, wow. Like in Defender. That's a step up, man. Yeah. Um,. I might do that one again when it's done, like completely done, because I don't want to play it too many times. I made that mistake with some, some games earlier, like I just played it every week and people just got totally bored of Whoa. us playing the game over oh. and over again. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, clear path. Woo! Oh, my God. Go, go, go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pushing. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Oh, stuck in a wall. Ah, <laughs> no. Who no. hasn't been stuck in a wall? I'm I was stuck saying. in a wall for like six turns. Damn. Oh, my God. <laughs> we want Shoplifter. We yes, want Shoplifter. shoplifter. 
Exactly. <laughs> That's right, Mr. Fix. Somebody get out there I and make shoplifting. I want it so lifter. badly. I want it so badly. Such a good... Stealing DVDs and yeah. VHS tapes. Clothes. Claire's necklaces for <laughs> the... <laughs> So good. Each thing could be a different point value depending on what you're stealing and how hard it is. Like, and on the ultimate level, you're yeah. stealing diamonds. Ooh, a heist. That's work right. You, work your work way, way up. up. You start out with low oh. level stuff. <laughs> you could spend the money you get from fencing the stuff on better equipment for you. Yes, so that you're better at shoplifting. You get magnets yes. to like something from far away. Oh, yeah. See, it's all coming together. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> we want make shoplifting. <laughs> The problem is with games is there's a million ideas and not that many people who are actually Sweet. making the game. That's right. Because it's very hard to make a game. Oh, that score in the bottom, we forgot to look at the score, is the time it took to get to the end. Oh, cool. So we got to beat 91 now. So the idea is it's like to get quicker, the quickest. Weekend. I'm stuck in a wall. Who hasn't been? Come on, 78. No. Oh, oh you're stuck in a wall. I'm stuck. <laughs> Maybe I'll go around you. No. Oh, oh, oh. 153. Damn. That's no good. That's dark. Oh. Come on. Oh, it's oh, we're so not going to make the score there. Nope. Oh, I'm stuck. 114. If you're like, re I've noticed that like you almost want to make some quick calculations, honestly. Like it's a very, if you to like, to, to, to push this at a high level, oh, you would have to like really truly. Like here, I'm just hoping, right? I'm just, just You're hoping praying. for the right. See, like there you go. You had your... Yeah, I could have made it around you. Because you, you did a, a... Oh, stuck in a wall. Oh my god, oh my god. Rip. <laughs> oh, 107. Oh my god. Another very kind of basic simplistic but, but I've game. never I never have like, never played a game like this this is cool oh my god oh my god oh right oh you made the oh no oh, oh. No. <laughs> some strategic moves going on yeah there. some 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 oh my god oh. I'm stuck in a wall <laughs> I love this I love the wall thing where you get stuck it's just such an interesting phenomenon, phenomenon. to be oh. go 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 oh, oh. Who knows? Can't tell. That both was tied. the team one. Because we're both should, not on the screen. Should we end it at the, at the tie? The tie? Keep I pushing think so. forward? That seems like the odds of something like that happening <laughs> again are astronomically low. So, that is a very interesting game. So let's move on oh, to, to, the real thing. to the real deal. Gizzlewap and the Strange Red Tree. Whoa. So let's show the audience that. I'm just going to like avert my... Up, up, up. Oh, sorry. Up. Oh, there we go. There we go. Give the whap in the strange red tree. Awesome. There we go. The back. Oh, yeah. Actually, the graphics on the back are really nice. Let's see if I can... There we go. Oh, good. Good. Wow. So this has really, really nice, big graphics in this game. Um, this was put out... Doesn't say does not say on the oh, box. That's cool. This is the first box game I've played. Yeah, we haven't done a um, box games in a while. It's so many work in progresses to catch up on. What are you doing? I'm saying cat stream. <laughs> oh, the cat stream, yeah. <laughs> this reminds me of Radar Rat Race. Yeah, a little bit, but that one doesn't change. Um, reminds me a little bit of... Uh, what is that one with the mouse? And you're going through a maze, and there's dogs, and you turn into a cat... Oh, you turn into a dog and there's cats chasing you. Oh, why am I? My brain is dead. There we go. So this was put out by Atari Age and should have a date on it. 2016. So I did buy this new. Wow. Um, I think I bought it at Portland Retro Gaming Expo. In 2016 or last year? Um, well, in 2016 because I missed out because yeah. of the filming last uh, last year, unfortunately. Team up with the Gizzlewap and Cammy the Zazzlefly as they enact yes. their plan to remove the toxic red tree from the forest. But beware, swarms of the Invicta's minions stand it's in your Harold. way. It's <laughs> Buzz, Buzz, uh, Burz Huzzad? Burz Huzzad. 
It's Harold. Did you ever play um, uh, Fallout or any of the Fallout games? Oh, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. there's this character named Harold who starts out in the first one, you meet him, he's a ghoul. And by the second one, he's graduated. And by the third one, he's turned into like um, a tree. And he's like been which, spread which, apart. Is this in number four? This is in this Fallout 3. Three? If you go way up to the north, oh, you I can didn't meet Harold. That guy. And he's like, and he's like, my organs are far apart. And you have to like kill his organs. You have the choice to kill him or keep him alive. His oh, name's like, Harold. No. What? So I feel like if he's killing the red tree... Oh, maybe it's Harold. Harold. Yeah. I remember a tree in like a dream sequence. Was that it? Or no, like... you got... It's a very specific one. Oh. You have to like explore the crazy amount of the game to get there. Yeah. And there's this whole, this whole community that worships Harold. And so that's why they like don't want that. you... This, you okay, you I must did have, play that. You probably made it. Yeah, 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 and and he speaks very slowly. No, I He's did very, definitely like, yeah. play that. Yeah, Harold, I'm and it's like sure in a different section. Yeah, like it's you, totally different, and it's like you can't get out of it till it's done. That's right. Yeah, and it's I also like it, yeah. all this like There's worshippers and yeah, and everything's you know. grown around because it's weird because it's like the wasteland. Very strange. But then, anyways, but this is reminds me of that because it's like the red eyes and the tree. And the... You must defeat. Uh, the Thesby, Mirmika, <laughs> and the dreaded Kulex before attempting to remove the tree. But your work is still not complete. Hidden in the flora are seven Invicta nymphs, oh. as well as the terrible Invicta Prime, who want wow. to see the forest destruction and feast on the inhabitants' blood. The nymphs? Wow. They will replant the poisonous tree unless all of them are defeated. Hurry, little Gizzlewap. You don't have much time. This is crazy back of a game. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> I don't think it uses the Atari Vox, so I'll just leave that uh, unplugged a for Burr's now. Burr's Huzhad? Is there a Bandersnatch in this game? Not so far, what's but... A, what's, we'll, a, what's a Bandersnatch? I have heard of Bandersnatch before. I can't remember what lore that is from. Let us know the lore of the yeah, Bandersnatch, Yeah, I do please. remember that. So, here's so we don't cartridge. have to Google it. I'll cover your face. Oh, I'm, so I'm going to just do it to you. Here's the cartridge. Here's the end. Cartridge. Oh, my two plus. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Carolyn's face is coming in. Sorry. I'll cover it up. Or it's just. Oh, there we go. Get a whap. Okay. Let's pop pop that in. I've never played this game before. I have. Although. Whoa, is this legit or is this? It's seizure inducing. Apparently, I don't know. Maybe this is wrong. That doesn't I'm... look right. I'm just... There we go. Okay. Uh, so, we that spared them better. from that. Because that was... Oh, it's a Lewis Carroll thing. Cool. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. If I had to guess, maybe I would have guessed that. Okay. Always got a frowny face. What is this thing that's in front of me? Okay, let's get to how to play first, so I'll get you going. Okay. You control the Gizzlewap and Cammy the Zazzlefly. So, I guess the white is the Gizzlewap and the thing... Fluttering around. It feels like a bit the glitchy, Zazzle fly. Do you know what I mean? Like... Yeah, the other one was glitchy like this as well. Traveling through the Jathanian woods, collecting cloud fruit, returning occasionally to the Zazzle. So I'm guessing that's the Sounds Zazzle. Sounds like Jabberwocky. I know that poem. I... Yes, it does sound like it. Along the way, you'll need to fight off the swarms of Myrmica you... by using Kami to fight and defend against their tactics attacks. Once you collect enough fruit, your score will turn green, and you will see the pegsy pull the tree from the ground. Okay. Now you will need to seek out the Invicta. Hurry, the red tree poison will be in full effect. Look at this little red tree face, man. He's angry. He's upset. He looks so Look sad. for anything out of place. A tree branch, rock, or stone. Once you find it, the Invicta's lair will be revealed. Enter to confront him. There are eight Invicta. Uh, each one gets progressively harder. There are two types of Invicta. The fir a first stage insect, typically called the Invicta Nymph, and a second stage known as Invicta Prime. So that is an enemy that's attacking you. But I don't know what to do against him. You have to use your fly. Um, well. Okay, controls. Use the joystick to move the Gizzlewap left and right. Push the joystick up to make him jump. Pull the joystick down to eat a cloud fruit to heal. Obviously there's no fruit here. Press and hold the fire button to use the Zazzle fly as a shield. So that's a shield. He will appear directly in front of the Gizzlewap. Okay, 
Okay, so there's a bit of red that's on that thing. That uh, press and hold the fire button. Pull down. The Zazzle fly will be appear below the Zazzle fly. That doesn't sound good. Don't do no. that. Um, press the joystick down to eat a cloud, f cloud fruit to heal. So that's a cloud fruit. Over. I don't think you did the right thing. Did you press down? You did. <laughs> Left difficulty switch. A, a you may only carry three cloud fruit. Oh, you collect them. And then you press down to eat it, which you just did. So there were some on the left, and you healed yourself. Oh, I so see. So you had that's, a cloud fruit in news. storage. I'm a fan of this. So get the cloud fruit. Jump up and get it. And now you have it with you. Okay, that makes sense. Um, de left difficulty switch to B. You may carry four cloud fruit, which you have it on B. Right difficulty switch to A. The red tree's, tree's poison will damage the gizmo app over time, and the wasp may eat your cloud fruit if he reaches the ground. Right difficulty switch B is not. The gizmo app is immune to the tree's poison, and the wasp will not eat your cloud fruit. So we'll leave it on easy for now. Did you die completely? No, I got like three fruit. Oh. Okay. Like, um, 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 fighting these Invictus <laughs> guys. Okay, you got. Red it. is everywhere. I'm just jumping around. So there's like this, I don't understand. The peg C. Okay, don't do anything yet. Okay. A small pegasus with butterfly wings. They are very strong and love eating cloud fruit. They are known to change color. That doesn't really tell us anything. So maybe you have to try and kill them? Looks like they're trying to pull the tree out of the ground. Oh, there's three of them now. What? Do you think I should just get them? Should I hit them? With your fly. That's how you attack things. Hold it down. Can you direct your fly? Uh, not, not super well. No, I don't think you're doing anything with that. No interaction going on there. So like the gizzle whap, a small move on, Yeah, just go to the next screen. Oh, get that cloud fruit. Oh my god, I lost my cloud fruit, man. Like, you see I had like three cloud fruit. Yeah. Right? You must have eaten them. Or they must have eaten them. Oh, maybe. You're jerks, man. Get it? But see it's so hard to like fight with these guys, right? Okay, and then my and now I have no more cloud fruit either. Okay. I see. Cool. Okay, okay, so maybe I feel. That, okay, wait. That looks like a hole to go into. Wait. I know. How do I go in this? Uh. That's a crazy game. Enter to confront him. It just says enter. Press the button. Down. Oh, up. feed them more cloud fruit at the red tree. Oh, so bring the cloud fruit. Jump up and get that. Okay. Just run away. What do I? Oh, Damn. you can't. Oh, you're stuck. Oh, they ate all your cloud fruit. Those things. That's... Feed them more, though, is what I'm supposed to say. Okay. What's happening with this guy? <laughs> Not hitting him. It's really hard to, like, aim. Control that? Dude. Yeah, because he just kind of randomly <laughs> runs, flutters through the screen. Oh, you got so him. So I got him, so I'm going to go Okay, there here. you go. Oh! Okay. They took your tree away. Oh, what if I, so what if I go back to this other tree... Oh, with, my, with my cloud fruit, even though I'm like almost dead. And you're dead. Once your tree goes away, I guess life uh, leaves. <laughs> your oh. life just leaves. I feel, I feel sad. <laughs> that is very sad. Okay. Do you want to try? Or should yes. I keep going? No, I can give it a go. Um, see work. if you can make more sense of this game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Let's see. Cloud fruit. I can't get that one. How do you get up that far? Can you use your little guy to get it? Yeah, you can. Oh, you can. And then, like, and he stole oh your god. fruit, man. Oh my god, he did. Now, the other thing I think is... I ate it, actually. How do you get that cube? Dude? You gotta just attack it. The other issue that we're having is it's glitching a bit. Just looking at this picture, you want them to take the tree. That's right. I was supposed to write about that. So did we win? <laughs> no, I just died because I got hit so much. Okay, this is a foot soldier of the Invicta. They crawl across the ground and leap to attack you. I feel like we figured that out without thinking <laughs> really about it. Yeah, but how do you get him? You have to jump up and... Oh, jump up and use the down. Oh, see, that's how you get really hurt, though, is on this red thing. <gasps> oh, don't... Okay, don't touch that. I need the cloud. It gives you full health. Yeah, I mean, this, this dude, you just gotta... Okay, that's not jump too over bad. that thing. It's gone when you go back. Oh, cool. Oh, 
Also, do you, do you, do you like, feed the first fruit? The thing? Maybe. Man. Ah! Oh! I'm gonna go back to my... Promise every time you get one. One fruit left. Ah! Okay. Two fruit left. Okay, they ate both of them. Yeah, so they're is like... Is that good? I think so, because you want it, You want this tree gone, man. This tree is... <laughs> Trouble? <laughs> this tree is the worst. <laughs> okay, I've got one more. And they ate it. <laughs> so okay. Go, go do another one. So that, should I just go back and forth? Yeah, for now. Ah. For sure. Ah. Look, it flies away. It flew away. Good, so now you just push forward. Push forward, yeah. Am I going to die because the tree's gone? I'm dying. Look. Oh, there's a thing in the ground. Oh, I made it. Well, now you're fighting a nymph, man. This is an Invicta nymph you're fighting. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I got to pull out again. Thing is very difficult to control. <laughs> I think. I think oh, I hit it once. It's pretty glitched, man. The thing is, is I think like. It's supposed to be flappy. Hit it twice. Time to to it. I'm gonna die. Ah, I'm gonna die. Oh, hit it again. Got him. Hit it again. Whoa! Jeez. Whoa, that's some crazy graphics. Back to your tree. There's like fluttery things. And I have full health again. Oh. Okay. <laughs> what the hell is happening in this game? Oh, now the clouds are yellow. Oh, so check this out. Invicta Nymph, first stage of Invicta form, they fly and attack. So I think I think the objective is is to kill a bunch of these nymphs, man. So okay. I think you you pass stage one. Okay, so they've I got, got the first one. Then. They have green, green, gold, gold, blue, red, blue, red, white, and then you fight the prime, Invicta Prime. So you, you gotta basically you gotta mess up these nymphs. Okay, fed. Um, now. Use up my. Had to use it up. Whoa! Go back. Good luck. Okay, I'm moving really fast now. Fly away. Okay, okay now so, now go to that tree. But I have to go thing. super quick. Now see if you can go into this thing. No, nope. you can't. I have keep to go going. find another one. That's right. Though, isn't By it? looking for glitches or something. No, keep going because there's another one that I'm going I... to die. There's another one. How do I get in? And game over. Yeah. Okay, how do you find those? How do you open them? And you only have like small amount of time. So we've at the bridge. At the bridge? So that's the next one? Just start over again. Okay. Oh! So it suggests that you have some backup fruit for when you fight this Invicta. Okay, it's easier said than done. Indeed. It makes sense. If there are two or more pegs in the clearing, think twice before approaching the tree. You might consider going back to the woods to collect more fruit and return to the score in green. how to kill things i understand how to get clouds i understand how to feed the feed the clouds to the dudes oh look so here's an example of one of the invicta layers right right at the bottom of a tree yeah so that there's, there's one the other one Should was I like find them first but the thing is is i think once you get rid of the red tree you then have to find the invicta really so, quick so it recommends and that's where it recommends like you have some extra fruit right because uh, right now you got how oh, many do you have true. three i have two two so go and get a couple more okay so the issue is, is yes yes yes, yes good, 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 okay. good call so now now, now go three. and i think that it'll it'll eat Okay. All of them. 
It okay. ate all of them. So now you gotta find that lair screwed. right away. How do you away. open it up? Oh my god, and I have no Yeah, and it's no just health. random where- There we go, that's the first one. And I have to like- No health. No health. Fight. How can they, they just take all my health? Maybe take I shouldn't give them, maybe I shouldn't feed them. I just keep it for myself. The glitch moves, okay. So we should find where they are first? Okay, first it was at the cave, then it was over the bridge. Is that further to the right? Here? Over the bridge, thanks I was supposed to. Yeah. That makes sense, so the first one is tree. It recommends the method you use. Like down, trot. Yeah, it's really easy to do that. Good. Well, not for these guys. Not too bad. Oh, we ate one of them. Yeah, that sucks. So there's two now, so they took them. So how do you end up with a lot of Just zero. Like if I fed him. Now the other now thing I, I build up. I the other thing I would do is I would be on the other side because if we know that it's at that right. spot, it, it, that at least saves us a little bit of time, right? So now we should build it up like crazy. Yes, because there's three. Okay. Not go back to that screen. Yeah. See if you can get like four even. Yeah, I doubt it. I think it automatically eats one when you're low, or did it press down? Or I think he ate one when he hit you. Oh, maybe. So oh. see, see if we can get one more. Oh yeah, you can get four. Okay. I'm in fine form for the fight then. So now I should go back yeah, and now not you go touch back. them? No, you can't get four. Maybe you can, but it doesn't show. Also, oh, I mean, now you have three, so you gotta go back. And... So that's why you shouldn't have taken it. Right. Just four. Yeah. Luckily, this is just an ant, so. Okay, cool. And just push through. Don't touch it. Okay, they take it. Don't touch them. And now, go, now I go here. Oops. Okay, so this? keep going, because I guess that one isn't now. Weird. Okay, I keep walking because it's definitely not there anymore. Oh no. That's okay. Keep using. You have to replenish yourself. Yeah. It doesn't do it automatically. But <sighs> every new game it is different. Every level it is different. Oh, the glitch moves, so you have to find the glitch yeah, first. Yeah, so you gotta run. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! I think that's interesting. <laughs> yeah, let's reset this guy. <laughs> Just, should we do a hard like like Maybe. full on shutdown of like the game and then because yep, because that I, is a problem. Okay, I mean we're still pretty glitchy. No, it's normal now. Oh my god, that ant was carrying me. <laughs> so I have to look for the glitch. So I should not. Glitch get... is first green to the right of the red tree. Now, now it is somewhere is... else. Right. So I should look for it first. When they take it, every time you pass through, they take it. So just look for the glitch. It's not there. Don't see anything glitchy here. Ah. Other than an ant. Trying to mess with me. It's not there. I wonder if it wraps around or just, oh, it does wrap around. I didn't see it. Maybe it appears not, until okay. after it's taken, so yeah. you just have to run for it. Yeah, and then find it. Uh, Which is okay. It's that's okay. fine. You have enough time, that's for sure. So, don't bother. 
So do you have to feed the tree, or does that happen? Yeah, you got to feed these guys, no. and then... Oh, now, I've, I now messed run. Up. I messed up. Run, 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 run. No glitch. And all you have to do is touch it. It'll just appear, or do you have to press a button to open it up? Rip. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the strategy to have those three again? Um... It must be that you feed it only one, 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 until it's like right, until there's three of them there, and then load yourself fully up and then go in. So there, feed. There. And then feed. Ah! Took it. And then once there's three, then don't go back to that screen. Exactly. Get get uh, get get four. Get four. Okay. See there. Now there's three. Now I load up. Yeah. Weird game mechanics for this game. It's so bizarre. Yeah, <laughs> and even this like glitchy like like ant like ant thing is crazy. <laughs> Our enemies are crazy. Yeah, the graphics are really cool. Like the yeah. screens, full screen graphics. Okay, I've got four now. So let's pop over <clears> to the <throat> left over. and see what happens. Take it away. Yeah. Good. I have to so wait now, till they're off the screen. Now run and see if this glitch appears. How do I identify? Now jump. Okay. Now E1? Yes. Yeah. There's one that like, could appear by the screen. Okay, seems to be not really good. How do I open? Okay, eat again, just so that you don't die. Help me, I was supposed to. You're our only hope. Is that the glitch? The thing at the bottom? Like? No, I don't think so. How did you not see that, he says. I don't, I don't see any, like, where is this glitch? Like, is it where I'm walking? Is it at the top? Is it at the bottom? <clears throat> I don't understand what the glitch looks like. It was at the bridge. I didn't see anything. I think it's like basically what does a it new. Look like? It's an because here it said like something. It looks different than like normal. Okay. So it's like we'll we'll find it this time. I suppose to. I couldn't see it either. <laughs> we need your. We need your expertise. We need your, we need your help. <laughs> help me, I suppose to. You're, uh, <laughs> you're my only help. Extra pixel. Extra pixel. Oh my god. Yeah, that's no. No problem to see. Wider pixel. Wider pixel. <clears throat> Wider pixels. Am I supposed to feed it? Yeah. Until it's like until it's three, three and then load yourself up. And then don't feed it. Exactly. There you go. So now you want to get low. Load up. <clears throat> Two screens because then they won't accidentally loop around. Go on that tree thing. Okay, three. And the last one. Bird. Okay. <clears throat> Glitch time. Okay. It's an extra Please pixel. Try. Wider pixels. Okay, let's look. I, let's let's. Like, am I supposed to examine these and then? Okay, so we got this room. Yep. Got this, this room. one. Yeah. That looks normal, you know. Bridge. Normal bridge. This one, which is the one that it traditionally appears at. Then I don't want to touch that. Let's go back. So, hmm. Okay. Are we ready? Yes, do it. Not there. And how do you... Does it just open up? It's how do you... How do you activate it? That's it's the not other there. question. Now heal yourself. I don't see anything here. I don't, I don't see anything here. Maybe like... But even if we saw it... it heal yourself. Palm tree. Oh. 
left Colin one. Left one. Okay. <laughs> okay. The question is, what do we do when we see it? Because walking over it does nothing. Yeah. Because I walk over must, the whole screen. Hold on. Screen. Let me look. Let me. Let me. I got, what am I doing? I got this stuff here. It's really weird how it glitches out. Look at that. Yeah, it's like bizarre. Goes through every screen really quick. Okay. You jump on it. You just jump up and down? Okay. You jump on it. Okay. Lol, you jump on it. Yeah, we suck. Was that in the manual saying you jump on it? Well, this is crazy. No, it says once you find it, the Invicta Lair will be revealed. Enter to confront him. Enter, not jump on it. That's so annoying. Such a weird manual where it doesn't actually tell you exactly what you should do. Three. Bam. We're still having a lot of trouble identifying. So I suppose is gonna have to help us out. I suppose to Oh thank god. Jump on the glitch. Boom. To go to, to, go to the really hard boss. boss. Yeah, yeah. jump with you. I do. I stole it. Or I used it. I stole it. Oops, I shouldn't go too far. Ready. <clears throat> bye, Gretums. Okay, I Oh, bye. To, Thanks, Gretums. You're going to have to help us out. Ready, I I, to? I totally was a bad um, co host there. I was just zoned out. I was like, <laughs> you're, you're attacking this thing. I'm like completely zoned out and thinking about my day. <laughs> okay, you ready? Okay, I'm ready. Watch for glitches. They're taking it. Okay, I supposed to. I don't you see watch any. the chat. Ready. Heal. Heal, heal, heal. Yeah, I was pressing the button. I don't see, I don't these see glitches. any glitches. I see little things down there. Are those it? But he said it was the palm trees. What is it? First left of first left of red tree. First left of red tree. Okay. okay. Hold on. Hold on. There's a red tree a red left. Tree. Okay, so here. Where is it? Tree. Heal. Okay. I'm jumping all over. Sorry, the right. <laughs> okay, okay. It's all good. It's all good. What's going on? Whoa. How did you see that I is supposed to? I don't even know what I'm looking what at. What happened? Maybe. Is it like, is it, is it viewable like for you, <laughs> not for, because it literally just appeared in the last second. Well, I jumped. That's the only reason it appeared. Or did you see something flickering? Left branch. Okay. Oh, I guess, I guess it's like. It just looks different? That must be it. Hold on, because it says in my thing. Hold on. I'm back. I'm okay. back. Level one. Yay, level one. Okay, you control. Okay. So the like left using, branch looked different? Like once you're you collect to enough fruit, your skull will turn green. You will see the pixie pull the tree from the ground. Now you will need yes. to seek out the Invicta. Yes. Hurry, the red tree's poison will be in full effect. Look right. for anything out of place. So A have, tree branch, rock, or stone. So you have to memorize all these screens. Once you find screens. it, the Invicta's lair will be revealed. 
Okay. So we got basically it's like a game of there was an added pixel on the left hand branch of the screen. What? How am I supposed to know that? We gotta we gotta memorize like the look of that tree, right? And the look of its everything. I can't do that. <laughs> and you were dying as it's happening. <laughs> I can't do that. And we're dying. Sometimes the glitch is the left branch, the cave, the left palm, the left brown bridge pole. Oh, so I guess once you learn it, it's easier to find? Yes. But thanks I was supposed to. Yeah, thank Man, you. Man, I don't think I don't think we're gonna do it. Oh, different enemies. Oh what? That he's, was it? he's 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 <laughs> done. <laughs> that was a quick death. I am supposed to save in our life. You're gonna have to keep always. helping us, I supposed to. Oh, three. Good. Too high. That old dude is easy. Just kind of goes back. I feel bad for killing him. Yeah, it's like it's like killing a like a mockingbird or something. Yeah, just like Take that ant. Okay. <sighs> okay. Memorize all these screens. Every I'm pixel. See, I suppose you're gonna help us, man. Okay. Are you ready, I suppose to? The okay. Bent, the bent left tree will have a different trunk. Oh. Okay. But we don't know. It might be a different one. Let's okay, let's do this. I'm ready. Ready, I suppose. I'm ready to help. <laughs> I just don't <laughs> with my nothing. Okay, memorize that tree. Okay. Okay. Oh, does it look different? It looks the same. Keep going. Okay, oh, see. there it was. What was it? What was it? I didn't see the glitch, but I just kept jumping all over the place. James. Maybe I just have to keep jumping. And uh, you got lots of, like, uh, fruit. Yeah, I Left palm tree. Thanks, dude. James did it. I don't know how. Next he did way. it. He's the hero of tonight. <laughs> Hands down. I suppose it's a hero. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. I suppose did you play this game before? <laughs> Obviously. I feel like you have, man. A couple times, maybe. Have you? Or am I really dumb? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, maybe we're really dumb. We're just like... That's the best it was thing. wider at the top. Thanks, dude. That's two out of... Eight? <laughs> oh my god. Really? That means you confirm that. Eight? I believe so. I believe there's seven um, invicted men. Oh, now there's two guys at once. Oh my god. Doesn't make it impossible, but it makes it definitely harder. So right now, we're dealing with gold. We're dealing with the Tabanus. <laughs> the Chrysbos is next. The things that are taking away the tree, you mean? No, these are the nymphs we're gonna fight. Oh, the nymphs, okay. The nymphs, yeah. We know the Invicta by their color. Invicta we nymphs. Them by we, their beat, color. we beat the Christ, which is like, not spelled like how you Same. think. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the Bromius. Those guys. And right now we're on the Tabanus. <laughs> Craziness. Chrysbos. Then there's the ice poster. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh, the, the ice poster. It's, it's the edge of. Uh, I heard they're hard to defeat. At Tylotus. Okay. Uh, the Sudek, Sudekas, Bimakas, and then there's the Crimes. So. Dudes, don't do much harm to you, actually. Hold on. You read this, legend has it <laughs> that Decorath, after his defeat in the second Cataclysmus uh, uh, <laughs> War, <laughs> sought to become immortal. He used and mated with the Miramako Queen, which is <laughs> how the nymphs just did. making shit up. <laughs> in it's an just... unnatural ritual, it made him stronger, extended his life, and gave him a thirst for blood. 
What does that have to do with the game? <laughs> this is just the lore. I'm like, you know? <laughs> <That's crazy. laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Casting out the Maimaka king, he stole the title of Invicta Prime. He now waits and plots his revenge against the humans that defeated him. Uh, Decoroth was not seen, has not been seen for centuries, and no one knows what he looks like. So Eat one and collect one more. Uh, yeah, that's a good strategy. I guess it is Dude, getting harder. Dude, I esposta, man. It is getting harder. I esposta. I don't hurt myself in the process. The Zazzle fly up a tree yeah, I did to it. kill the creatures attacking. So you can send the Zazzle up a tree, apparently. Well, you, yeah. You can send them up wherever. Okay, you ready? I esposta, please help us. Oh my god, I esposta. <laughs> You're our only chance. Okay. okay. I'm just gonna hop. hop. Now, hold on, is that a different branch? Or just I you watch the chat. Branch. So you okay. watch the chat. Okay. Now you are ready. Okay, I think that's a different branch. Yes. There it is. Heal, oh. heal. Yes. There's the, the bad. There's an ant now. Oh my god. This is the tabernus, man. Oh, I just found out a really good tactic. Jumping over them and going down on them. Bam! That was stressing me out. That was a close one. You gotta heal as soon as you get that fruit, man. I only survived Next. because of Ice Posta. Yeah. Because he told me to eat one and then get another one. Oh, he's absolutely right. Whoa, these guys are getting crazy. Okay, so we are on the uh, uh, Christmas. This <laughs> is where we're at. <laughs> I want to show them the concept on this. Sure. No, I'll let you, um, uh, I can't wait to I'll just work. Oh, I'll wait, I'll wait to yeah, get this guy. I keep eating it. Ah. Okay, go for it. This is kind of cool. Check this out. There's some concept let art. switch over. Let me move over. Uh, I can't even find it. Hold on. Other way. Other way. Uh, tilted. Sorry, I'm really bad at this. Everything's backwards. Up. There we go. So look at that. That's some concept art that they made that was based off of the game. So they have like a unicorn. They got this little ant thing. They got the trees, the red and everything. And then um, they've also got the... Uh, let me show you. This, these are the people hanging out doing their thing. With a toy frog? Yeah. And someone in a furry costume, it appears. <laughs> up, up, up. Up, up. You see what I mean? Someone's hanging out in a furry costume. <laughs> That's the programmers. It's pretty cool. I just wanted you to see that because I was thought that was really neat. I mean, the artwork in this um, is beautiful. Like, did look you at those say? Have trees. you read this? Uh, um, the no, I haven't. You can go for that. Okay, the the well, Gizzle like, Wap um, and the Strange Red Tree drew inspiration from many sources, including other video games, Dungeons and Dragons, Nature, but especially a series of bedtime stories made up by the programmer and his daughter. See, and I I feel uh, bad. I'm like make, I wasn't making fun. I was just laughing because this thing was so crazy. In these stories, uh, the Gizzle Wap had many adventures and met many strange creatures, like the Pegsy Humming Duck, uh, Bunnipy, uh, Floaty thing that Fin. Is totally defenseless, right? The Humming Duck. Yeah. The thing that just walks across the screen and I kill. It's like. And then it's, he said it made sense to draw from such an in imaginative world to make an original game. This is an original game. Oh, so, yeah. Let me know this is an original game. This is completely um, original. There's, uh, there's that poor thing. Yeah, this thing. The, the evil creatures drew Still inspiration hurt. from an original D&D &D campaign where players fought against vampiric creatures. These vampires did not fit the traditional archetype. Instead, they were based off See of blood-sucking insects. Bye, Atari Spot. Um, uh, instead they were based off of blood-sucking insects like horseflies, gnats, and, uh, mosquitoes that would, uh, create, um, elaborate plots to conquer and or destroy the human land of Sundra. There's three of them now. Damn! So it says gameplay took, uh, many inspiration from aspects of many programmers' favorite games, removal of the final threat, Frankenstein's monster, Varied monster movements, Space Master X7, horizontal platforming, Pitfall, and various attack types, The Adventures of Link. 
Hopefully everything came together to create a fun and satisfying game experience. And he's, uh, Jeff Smith resides in Philadelphia with his wife and daughter, and he works as an engineer and CNC programmer for a small woodworking company. He Help! Has... I'm supposed to... <laughs> oh, God. I can't find it. Oh, I should be helping her reading shit, man. I'm sorry. No, I... Oh. Oops. Red palm tree. I died. Okay. You want to try and make it to the first guy? I'm going to see what I can do. Okay. Okay. I watched you. Now that we know how to play the game, the only thing we don't know how to do is find the differences in the picture. It's like a Where's Waldo kind of thing. Yeah, that's the only challenge that we have. Oh, my God. The thing with that is that you have to make sure you don't press down without the button. Because you'll use up your, your thing by pressing down. Used up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what can you do? Tari's still on stream, man. Oh, he's in the other. Yeah. He's, he's in the the webcam. Bam! Here you guys go. Nope. Too high. Oh, I got it. Oh my god. Face, friggin' crazy insect. What's this one called? The Kulex. Take he. Screw you, Kulex. Mosquito. Oh yeah, and they're all like vampiric. Oh, they are. Because that's the idea, at least. Okay, so three. So now I'm gonna get my four on. Yeah, it's got a little little sucker at the front of it. Yeah, that makes sense. It's also colorful. It's a beautiful game. Oh. Take that. The other, the sequels. It was in the snow, if I remember correctly. Wow. It was so bizarre. The other one was. Crazier than this one. <laughs> the sequel <laughs> How to this. That possible? <laughs> I can't even remember most of it now. I swear it was. Did it have the crazy same crazy names? Because to me that's the craziest part of this game. I did. I don't have like a a, a copy of it. It was like a, just a downloaded one, I think. Did I? Let's see. Can I actually buy it. Okay, James. Yeah. Is it time? Are you I think it up? might be time. I might be wrong. I might be wrong, but it might be time. I might, I might screw this up. Let's find okay, out. Okay, you ready? Let's do it. Oh, and just it. jump, jump, jump. No, don't touch the clouds. There you go. Okay, now press to the right. Jump, 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 jump. Okay, jump, so jump, that is. Jump, jump. No, no, just keep going. There's an island and a sequel and a so snow sequel. Jump, 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 jump. Oh, I think, oh, is this one you bigger? used one up. There it is. <laughs> How like, does this work? <laughs> just gonna throw your weapon at him. Good luck, Erlen. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately when you were jumping, you used up like two of your... Oh, you got him once. <laughs> well, that's better than And none. again, and again. Oh, you almost got him. Three more times. Uh, two more times. Yes! Did it. Double hit! Bam! Nice. Okay, I'm, I'm understanding this game. It's a crazy game. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I'm starting to understand. I suppose it says there's an island sequel and a snow sequel. I think I played the snow sequel. Oh, God. See, that's the thing. It's made up. The snow sequel is like you have a bird, and he flies off, and you have to just keep from starving. It's so bizarre. Wow. He kept keep from freezing. That's Jeff. What what's his name? Jeff. What's his name? <laughs> the guy who created it. Oh, this guy. Okay. Yeah. Jeff Smith. Jeff Smith, you are a creative man. Well, Sarah is the daughter, I guess, Sarah. right? This is it is a Lucy in the Sky with Diamond situation. It is definitely. Oh, I is supposed to is thanked on the back. I is supposed to thank. Why are you thanked? Did you work on it? And Zach Scalera, Scalero, who was in here. I don't know if he's still here. Gray West, we know him. Wow. Random terrain, my game of his. Painted by Amy Fuchs. Oh, I kind of The Red up. Tree. Dedicated to Janine Smith. His wife. Man. Some special person in his life. Okay, there's three. Oof, quick death on that one. I like how it's if it's in the it hangs on a branch, like if you kill it, it like trips off a branch. Oh, the graphics are beautiful in this game. If it's on the oh, 
falls to the ground. Bam. Are you loading up? Is that what's happening? Yeah, that's what's happening, but I'm not so good at loading up. Trying not to use one. We're doing so good so far. Luckily, the creature don't really hurt you that much. Okay, one more. It's like you hit it, but it just goes passes right through sometimes. There we go. Oh, oh you used one up somehow. I didn't mean to. Damn. Bam. There you go. That guy's not too bad. This is predictable. There you go. You're good. Don't touch any more clouds. Okay. Now run and jump. Jump, jump, jump. No, don't spend too long. No, just keep jumping at an angle. It's been too long. I have no idea where it is. Yes, it's right there. How did, how did you know? Learning. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Fix says, nice, Erlen. Yeah, thanks, Mr. Fix. I think that was for oh, winning. you used up all your stuff. Oh, it wasn't. Like, like immediately. I didn't mean to. <laughs> oh, I'm actually no. not even, like, triggering it. No, so. oh, that's the first hit you got on it. Oh, twice? And you used another no, one. No, I didn't. I didn't do it. I just did it. I <laughs> maybe he's stealing it, but no, your health went right to full. No, faith. You can do it. Maybe. You know what? Just because you didn't believe in me. You're gonna do it. I don't think you had any health left. Oh, wow. You didn't, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. I didn't believe it myself. Oh, I think you're on the third tree now? I am. Wow. What is that one called? Oh, the Cryolus? Is that right? Tybanus Gold. The Tybanus Gold. Yeah. Oh my god. This is so crazy. So crazy. This is a crazy game. I suppose says, I don't remember. I may have posted in his thread, maybe play tested. He did all the programming, all the art. You probably, it just says special thanks, so I'm guessing you probably did. No, oh, you're not listed under play testers. Maybe you must have helped him. Uh, you just get, you know, just being the supportive, good I suppose stuff. That's right. We all know, man. Yeah. Must have been. Just, he liked, he liked your name. He must have helped him somehow. Be under special thanks. You probably like maybe give some feedback. Yeah, some, some good feedback. Couple, some... couple tips or something yeah. here and there. Oh, he's he's just <laughs> Whoa! I don't see the pitfall um, influence here. I just mm -hmm. don't see it. I guess because there's an underground part. I don't know. You fall through. Are you loading up now? Yeah. Oh wow! It's so fast. Yeah, I'm kind of like, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing it like fast and loose because I've learned the levels now, so I'm kind of like, I'm rather than walking into one screen and out the other, I'm just trying to like... One thing you got to be careful is not to use up your, your health accident. I think you're pretty good. I don't know if you want to go for one more. Yeah. Oh, it's just down, it does it? Just down. Wow, okay, so there we go. That's, that's my issue. Yes, yeah, so never press just down. Always have a button combo. There you go. Now you're ready to fight. Okay. Get ready to find. Okay, that's not not there. Not there. Not there, I don't think. Uh, this one's there you go. different. It's, I still didn't see the difference. I'll have to watch the playback. I used it up, but you used it up on a good, on a good time. No hits. Beeps. There you go. I remember saying the ant was extremely hard to get. I think the ant got easier. Yeah. The ant is, is easier. No, nah, man. I, I did it from purpose. Oh. Another one. Slayed. Damn. Get this game. Hey, J. Smith Gizzle. Welcome. J. S. Smith Gizzle. <laughs> Probably That's Jason the dude. Gizzle. Really? That's the programmer. Holy cow. Hey, man. We're playing it. your game. It's amazing. We're finally understanding it. I'm... I'm He's getting it. 
The only part is is identifying the changes in scenery. It, it's like one of those game those um visual puzzles. Spot the difference. Spot, yeah. Spot the five differences. And um, we are enjoying it. It's just bizarre. It's a crazy game, it's man. Crazy. But the graphics are. I keep equating it to the Beatles. <laughs> just a trip, an acid just trip. Like Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, because it's also what was that? That was like the story of his daughter, and then that's how right. you got your thing. I've said that like four times now, though. So no, he's here. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not that interesting. Shoot the pink flower. What? Oh, what? There's a bonus. So we gotta. After you defeat these guys, you gotta go to the pink flower. Oh, see, oh, it's really it hard to not use it up. Don't do it. Don't get the, don't get the cloud. Go to the flower. Where's the flower? Just to the left. Just keep to going. To the left. Keep going. To the left. Keep going. To the left. Keep going. Keep going. Up there. There. There's the pink flower. Shoot it. What's supposed to happen? <gasps> What's that? What's this? What that was? Is that a super fruit or something? It looked like a. Maybe it gave you and powered you up at the same time. Nice. I think it gave you full health plus when you used it up. You idiot. <laughs> it's very difficult to not accidentally use it up. Oh, it's working. Did I hurt it? <laughs> oh, maybe you have to go off the screen because there isn't a thing. Oh, they're all turned into super... That's awesome. That makes it so much easier. Because when you get your fourth one, you'll be fully powered. Dude, programmer is in the chat hooking us up. Hooking with us some up with real the good info. Stuff. Okay, so. Yeah, gotta do it still. Two. Um, yeah, we do enjoy it. It is. It is probably, easily one of the most creative, insane games I've played. I must say, it's probably the best full screen graphics game where Definitely. the backgrounds are fully realized um a lot of people do sunsets and like with lines across the screen and they do really nice sunsets but nothing where it's like it's not just a sunset it's like the full screen is a graphic that must have taken up so much memory to, to have all these screens oh i didn't need to do that <laughs> that's fine and you just used up here that's good health as well no that's good because i i want to like wow. don't go back to that screen thanks oh for the God. flower uh, yeah the flower it. power up does it give you full health i, I gotta watch next time oh, you're using them all ah. it's hard it's so hard i didn't even mean to it just did can it can you hold down the button and jump like hold it down and then yeah, oh that's a good idea that's a way better that's a better method i should have just done that from the start that's so much easier to kill the ant. Oh my god, I'm like wrecking stuff now. <laughs> whoa, oh, whoa, so holding it down helps. Holding it down is totally where it's Last at. One. Dude, here, nice one. Oh, it's like your it's like your weapon. Oh that makes it so much easier. You're gonna defeat the bosses in no time. And I'm not gonna use up my like health. Like, Exactly. Okay. Okay, the background took up most of the graphics memory. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, it's now this so is detailed. the hardest part, so man. Much color. Um, we're going to try to figure out this uh, crazy this... mind game. I'm sort of learning it. Okay. It's just about okay. jumping. Okay, this, jump, one's, jump, jump. this one's not a one. This one is. There you go. Done. Okay, pull down the button, start attacking. That? Oh, you used up one, but... Yeah, because I was fucking dying. I was so close oh, to being dead. <laughs> you are killing it, though. Lots of beeps. Another one. Another one. You're going to go all the way yeah. with this new strategy. Okay, I got some serious... <laughs> got it. ...skills. Okay. They're on, like, their fifth... Oh, it stays like that. That's cool. What is that S? Is, is it what we think it is? Where it gives you full health at the same time there you go oh now you're speeded up you're sped up now you're crazy. help me out come on this is i find this one to be the hardest that guy oh yeah that guy's so hard because he's moving around so much thanks whoa whoa 
<laughs> Don't shoot the duck. Oh, but you can't go off the screen. How do you not shoot the duck? Which, which is the duck? The thing that goes slowly and is, like, defenseless. Oh, that's why we've been killing it so easily. <laughs> okay. Because it doesn't list it in here. The duck. Okay, I'm gonna eat it because yeah. I'm almost dead. Because I swear when I had the duck, I tried to just leave the screen. And it was like, no. Are the sequels the island? Okay, time okay. to load up. Yep. The islands and the snow one. Yeah, we did play this, um, J. Smith Gizzle, we did play your snow one a long time ago when... When the stream was not as good looking. Um, we'll have to revisit it. Now that this game makes more sense, maybe the other one will make more sense. It was crazy. I used it just because I was The snow one was so crazy. Yeah, it was a good idea. Okay. One more. It's nice too because I'm not accidentally. Yeah, no, if anybody stuff. plays this game, you just hold it down. It's so much Jump better. around. So much easier. Um, oh, you're gonna one. Yeah. But the enemies are getting harder. Like, they're eating more of your... Um... Lock more health, yeah. Whoa. Oh, the Blizzard in Fern is a little slow. It is, it is a slow game, that one. Oh, don't shoot it. Don't shoot Can it. Just leave? I can just I don't leave. Know. Can you? Don't shoot the duck. Just touch. Just touch it. Oh. Whew. Okay, okay, we're going to do this. Okay. Jump, 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 jump. This is not it. Jump, this is jump. not it. This is not it, I don't think. This one, I don't, I don't see. There it is. Now you're going to kick ass. One, yeah. Two, three. Four, five, six, oh so much God. easier, seven, eight. Because I just have to try to, like, not get hit by it. Yeah, pretty much. And that's not too hard, right? And there's no, like, there's no extra gun. That's a good relief. But he is, hard, he is hitting you harder, though. But you're able to avoid him. Ooh, like 10, 11, I don't know, he wants to track now. This guy's all taking a lot more hits. Holy cow. Toxic Isle is not complete. Oh, so there's a third game coming out for me. I got some fruit left over. I don't know if this wow. helps at all. Oh, it races it. <laughs> Goodbye, fruit. Goodbye, fruit. Thanks for that S thing. I feel oh, like that really God. helped us. I don't know why. I don't know, why. What, I don't know what it does. What Can does you explain it? to us what it, the S yes. means? Please, please explain. S. Um, oh, and no is that in the manual? We couldn't find anything, in anything in relation to that. It's just cool that you set us up with some... It's just an Easter egg. Zero page homebrew exclusive. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, I just spit. That's gross. I didn't see it. Okay. Thanks. Hopefully no one else saw it. Oh, I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> That's right. Shouldn't have said anything. Okay, I'm going like, to... Everybody's going to freeze frame it. I'm going to have Make to chips. heal soon. Yeah, I'll be like... <laughs> oh, you've got too many now. You're going to yeah. take them all. It's fine. <laughs> oh, daughter's initial. Oh. oh. That's so sweet. That's really nice. Okay, this is a dangerous situation I'm in right here. I don't have any fruit. Yeah. And I'm trying to kill. He's tough now. Because he's getting tougher every level. Oh. Whoa, you better get it and eat it. At least there's only one guy there. Okay, good. We're full health. Good. No, two mildly easy guys. Right, feed them. This whole thing is weird. <laughs> with, with the tree and like you're giving them fruit, but they take take the tree away. Oh, just touch yes. them. Yes. Good. Okay, yeah, you're good. You're set up. Oh, you got two to start with, so that's good. Oh yeah, I did notice that well, when you're fighting two guys, that's the blood stays on the ground. You have to avoid that. 
Whoa, good job. Oh, but I accidentally took up the button. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. It's doing so well. Yeah. Ooh. Jay Smith Gizzle says literal Easter egg. Oh! Because it's an actual egg. You're and absolutely it's colored too. It's right. Like colored like an Easter egg too. Look at that. That's so awesome. That's that's. I, oh, a I think I wonder egg. if it's just an Easter egg. Like, I doubt it's actually maybe affecting the gameplay at all. No, no. It's probably just a cool thing. I think you're ready. Should I heal? Nah, I'm nah, going. Go for it. Okay. Okay. Run and jump. <laughs> uh, I don't see it here. I don't see it here. I don't see it here. Come on. Yes. Go. All right. Oh, I used to die. Before. One though, I was about to oh, die. Oh yeah. Now it's getting hard. Oh my god. Oh wow. Do it? Yeah. There you go. If I would change anything in this game, I would make it automatically eat. Do it, do it, do it. Uh. <laughs> their their hits are so powerful now. Oh my god. I didn't think you hit it that many I times. I hit it so many times. I don't know what when we're on now. I don't know. I think we're pretty close to the end. Like two more. My fingers hurt though. <laughs> oh my god. What time is it? I know you have to go like it's eight fifteen. Oh, we're so good. You're still we're good? totally okay. fine. I can't believe we're you're actually winning. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this game would be like I'm, But I'm... Jay Smith Gizzle did help out a lot with like I supposed to help out a yeah, lot. Yeah, I supposed to help out a lot. The tree. What did you um, uh, give I Suppose to a special thanks other than just him being? He may not remember. But obviously, I Suppose. Yeah, because I Suppose is on the back here as a special thanks, but he can't remember what he did to get the thanks. Which I mean is like, you know, maybe just a thing. Yeah. I'm curious what he did. So, oh, oh, killed okay. yourself. Yeah, this is where this game is starting to ramp up. You're meant to find the Easter egg by accident. I could see why you could, you could find that by accident. Oh yeah, because you're firing around, around everything. Yeah. Down. Press to get your health. Yeah, this is like I can't even get ahead. Every one of these is like a boss now. <laughs> it is. Oh, three again. It's that guy. That, what's that guy called? He's terrible. The mosquito dude. The Kulex. He just decimates you. Oh, heal yourself. You can't get ahead. I'm just in maintenance mode right now. Oh, you helped when I got stuck programming. Yeah, Ice Post is great for little tips. That's for sure. Come on. Have to use it again. Not yet. Okay, use it. Use it. Quick, use it. <laughs> Still. Okay. There you go. You got something. Maybe you'll get the duck soon. There you go. Now feed the tree. <laughs> Jeez. Now this one's not too bad. I might be able to make it through this. There you go. Oh, oh you used it. I didn't mean to. <laughs> oh god. It was a gimme. This guy. Is Okay, now you're at three. Go back, go check again. Wait, 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 go back. Should be three. No, one more. Whoa! Whoa! Heal, heal thyself. I love it when the programmers come in. Because they always give that extra little bit that of That little info. edge, you know, that, that little that something. That lets us actually make it. What are you doing? I shouldn't. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> You're not even jumping over him. Don't get it. Okay, you're ready. You got two. Awesome. You're a little bit ahead. Oh, nice. Good job. And mosquito. Good. Stupid nice. Bird. Okay. So I was just playing it safe because I'm like, yeah. I just had that feeling of like, I don't want to be the guy <laughs> who accidentally forgets to heal. Yeah, and then like, we've come so far on this, this journey, you know, it's just really oh, I know. Good. Good. One. 
Good. Okay. Let's do this. You gonna do it? Yeah. Let's do this. It's now or never. Yep. <sighs> okay. Okay. Bye, uh, tree. <laughs> bye. <laughs> okay, this is fine. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. That's like weak. There yes. it is. That was, e that was yes. so obvious, that one. Okay. I'm... That's a Whoa. Whoa. One. At least it's that one. Oh, my God. Heal. I know. Whoa. Okay. I'm going to have to do some, some good jumping here. Heal. Hits. Good. Careful. It's your last one. Whoa. Oh! Damn it. Where, which one were we? That's gold? I, I was don't that know. the last one? Because it, it, it'll tell us. It'll tell us. White. So this was the second last one. That was blue red? No, no. This was Bic, um, Bim, White. Bim oh, Makuba. then you have to go after Invicta Prime. Right? Yeah, so that was like the second last one. Good job. Oh. Gave it. it was amazing. Oh, God, I did it. I know, man. You had one more level. No. <laughs> I know. I know. Oh, my finger hurts, James. Good job. Yeah, I oh. bet. What a jump Who knew that I mean gizzle whack? <laughs> like that. That was your game. That's your that game. That's my jam right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good game indeed, I suppose. To. Yeah. Oh, great job, GG. Chase McGizzle. Such yeah. a strange game, but I have never played a game like that before. But so beautiful looking, like look even the even that graphic. Look at that great tree. It's amazing, and co combination of so many like interesting, innovative ideas too. Like having to like do that like matching game, you have to fight these things to collect these things. Once you get the idea of it, it's pretty crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So that was that was such a crazy crazy game looking forward to your new one when it comes out Hell i'll have to yeah. keep uh Jason. keep tabs on that um so four games we played danny yeah. um that was the the skateboarding dude that was uh that was really colorful a lot of twitchy movements that you have to yeah. be really ready for as if classic it felt like an arcade game you know what i mean yes. like you go in you hit the thing like, oh, boom, oh. boom 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 oh i failed jump, jump. new quarter <laughs> like that's how it felt definitely arcadey um good one recommended yeah for, definitely like, quick games fun quick games for sure which is good because sometimes we do a lot of big games and it's like yeah, it's like this one that yeah. was a big game it's a big game um no touchy hard as hell oh my god but you know so exciting yeah, when Max you, is a good programmer. Very yeah. good. Yeah, both those games really like very different too. Yeah, they feel like um something that you would you would have like on like an iOS game and it would yeah. just crush like people download that like crazy. Oh, Especially the no touchy. It feels oh, yeah. it feels it's like an one iPhone button. one, right? You could transition that one over easily to to a uh, um portable platform. It's the kind of thing phone. you're on the bus, you're just trying to like make sure this bird Trend. doesn't <laughs> doesn't slam into the the spikes, yeah. You know. Uh, um escape it. It wasn't very long lasting. Like, it's you can't like play it too long. It needed more, like power ups or I don't know what else. But um, wow, well, yeah, you got a riff on that one because yeah, it's, it's a, like it's a fun, quick two player game. Very creative. Yeah, very very creative. Hunt the Wumpus. We did play that a couple weeks ago. That one was uh, really good. I can't remember which one. His which was. one did he do? We have to we figure like, that out. We played four of them. We had a Hunt the Wumpus extravaganza. Yeah, uh -huh. and there was like, and they were all three of them were so different. Yeah, let me take off that. I bet you his Hunt the Wumpus was the really simple one because his games are very simple, you know. Yeah, I bet it was a like the the first one grid where you one have like or... the thing and you and you like. It's probably the grid one with yeah, the grid good graphics because he has really good graphics. So I bet it was the grid. Yeah. The single screen grid one. Because there's because there's the one that was the tunnel one, which I don't think doesn't feel no, like his style. It doesn't. His the, is a single screen. The one where oh, I no, kept getting scrolling. teleported by the bat. I bet you. Oh my. This is the most animated. Oh, it's the full screen one with the chomp. Yeah, definitely. I think that was the that was definitely the one that you like. Went from transported by the bat. Yeah, that third was one it. with the full. Yeah, totally yeah. the bat one, the one that we couldn't beat. Yeah, we couldn't figure that one the out. The first two. It was just the random bat. Transport, yeah, transport, and transport. And you think you got it figured out, and you don't. That was a good game. Yeah, and then uh, of course the last one, uh, the Gizzle Wap and the Strange red tree yeah i do have the box if uh 
the programmer didn't. Yeah, Wade it Rain, it's see not, you later, man. By Wade Rain, we're almost done. So yeah, we're super, we're super close. Um, um so this isn't offered anymore. The the box, they're really? sold out of the box, but oh, you can still man. pick up the cartridge. So. Well, I definitely recommend this game. I'd say this is the game of the night for me, hands down. At first, it was just so weird. But I would, then, uh, as we understood it, it was it got a lot, especially firing off like attacking. Oh, yeah, figuring didn't out make this any sense. And, and yeah, it's 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 but a now steep it does. curve. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, good, uh, good bunch of games today. Very good bunch. And, uh, I'm just going to quickly, I don't have all the games for next, uh, for on Friday, but I do have one. I'm just going to announce that. Where is it? The one I'm going to play on Friday is Pinata, which is five games on one Whoa. in one. So it's a bunch of games all together, uh, which is Heartbreak, Ping, Joyride, Fixer, Felix, Senior, and Flipside. I'm probably going to add one more because they're really small, quick games. And um, yeah, and then we're back on Wednesday with you again. And then we're off to Portland Retro Gaming Expo where we're going to do a live stream. Ooh. Probably from the Atari <laughs> Age Forums. Remember, we, we want shoplifter. shoplifter. Yes. Team uh, Shoplifter. Team Shoplifter. Hashtag <laughs> Shoplifter. <laughs> Hashtag top shoplifter. <laughs> Somebody's got to make that a reality. Mr. Fix, thanks for le always letting us know. Remember. Reminding us of the shoplifter. It gets to get pro <laughs> progressively more developed every yeah. time. Just, just thinking on it, adding <laughs> to it. Um, so thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, thanks, Wade Rain, Mr. Fix, Ice Bosta, J. Smith Gizzle for hanging out while we and, uh, play his games. Yeah, thank you so much for making yeah. a game. We wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. Exactly. And your creativity. We and thank be doing you nothing. Thank you to your daughter and, and also yes. listening to her and using her imagination to make yeah. something great. Atari Spot, Grenoms, Ground mm. Trooper. Yeah, Zach Scalero, who is uh, another programmer as well, who was thanked on the back of this as well. I think, yep. Yeah. Zach Scalero. Yeah, oh, sweet. Who I think is the same Zach that I've been talking to. Yeah, because he's talking about Uno. It's got to be the guy. Um, and uh, I think that's most of the people. Ground Trooper, we said. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Okay, well, thanks everybody for tuning in and chatting and participating in the poll. Might make it a. a a thing we do every time. Yeah. Little, little poll question. Yeah, see how that. See what's going on. It won't always there. work out the way that it did today. Yeah. Where, it, it it worked okay. I think it'll uh, it'll be fun to see yeah. what people think of things. Absolutely. Um, so we'll see you on uh, Zach was a huge help. Oh, wow. Awesome. So we'll um, see. You, tune in on uh, Friday is the next show at six p.m. Who's, who's uh, who was on place. Friday? Uh, it's gonna be Tanya. Cool. Um, and then the next Friday it's gonna be Darcy. We're away, so Darcy is not going to be here for four weeks. He was on last Friday. I suppose he spelled my name right. Thanks, man. Awesome. Good night. I suppose to good night, everyone. And we'll see you on Friday. Bye-bye.